We are indeed. We are indeed bodies in the night. This is confirmed by multiple sources. Good morning, everybody. We can actually say good morning because it is a morning stream today. Hello, Clates. First time I've caught you live here. I usually see you on YouTube. Terry, how are you? Terry Screwloose. What a good name as well. I hope you are, my friend. Thank you for watching on YouTube. We do appreciate that. You know how much I love that message, don't you, everybody? I'm here from YouTube. Yes, it's working. The grand plan is working. A muggy start. It, what, outside or just by me? Either way, hello. Morning world. Gachenko, welcome in. Kakota, welcome in. Steven, I'm here from my gaff. Also great. Also fine. We, we, we also appreciate that. How are we, team? I'm good, man, and I'm a Brit like you. The, the, the best. Uh, next step, become king of Britain. Same plan as every day, Pinky. Try to take over the world. What a reference that is. If you are my age, what a reference that is. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, sheeping is in. Gambling is in. We've got Sticky Chicken in. We've got uh, MS, J MS, J MS J Jogren. I'm not sure what, how you're going to do your name. A M, hiya. Uh, Sinks is in. How are we? How are we? How are we? Hope we're good. Last day of BST chat. It is indeed. We've got uh, some uh, hour changing, haven't we? Um, that's good. Been listening to you for a while at work all week. Thanks for the entertainment. Marshy, appreciate that, buddy. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. I'm glad that we could uh, bring a little bit of entertainment at work to what we like. Uh, ele elevator go down the hole. I want to push the button. Yeah, good. Uh, good gambling. I have a voice this morning. Hope we're all good. That's extra, extra, extra nice. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying words, aren't I? Uh, Gary, how are you? Are we having Evan Ferguson then? No, uh, probably not. Because Evan Ferguson is costing us everything. So probably no. You said no voice. Sorry. That's extra bad. <laughs> Sign Ethan Laidlaw for you. He's amazing. Um, okay. Probably not going to, but thanks for the suggestion, Hibs boy. Hope you're good. Having you stream while at work has been a godsend. Uh, we, we should make this a full-time gig, shouldn't we? Why is there a slipper there? Look, oh, there is two. Okay, that's slightly more acceptable. You see a slipper in the back of the shot today. That's nice, isn't it? I think we should make this a full-time thing. I don't know when, but that would be good, wouldn't it? I've had a good week. It's been a good good week being a full-time content creator slash playing FIFA. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, but it is now. It's back to work on Monday, unfortunately. So, yeah, no midweek... Um, no midweek streams next week. Not yet. If my uh, dogs wouldn't shred them, I'd have slippers. Yeah, slippers are great. Slippers are a real a real game changer. I've really fully embraced the slippers thing. No more midweek shenanigans. Shame. It is a shame. We've had a good time with this save. It's only January. I feel like we're going still managing to go quite slowly, which is mad because we've streamed basically every day and I've played some games in between, but we're still only at January. So I guess it's just how I play the game. We talk about everything but the game most of the time, don't we? So we are where we are. Going to load up and have a look for a striker for you. Nice. Yeah, today we're going to try and sign a striker for about 100 million. And I've got some ideas and I found some opportunities in the save. But as always, we need to discuss them and talk about whether they're actually going to be viable. Like, are we going to... Is it realistic in, in terms of real life with slightly adjusted for the game? Are they fitting the dossier? Do we want to spend this money, etc.? The streams are a huge distraction, to be fair. But yeah, well, there is that as well, I suppose, Lynchy. Hello, Leone. How are you feeling? Hope you're okay. Uh, when we take five minutes for the Villa free kick thing, are we really shocked? Yeah, that's also true. We watched that Villa free kick for in slow motion for ages. So yeah, we're not shocked at all, are we? How are you doing, Pav? The crab has become the turtle. Um, is that in terms of how slowly we're moving? Yeah, it's it's a it's a thing. It's bad, isn't it? Maybe I need to give the save to other people at, like during the week to move it on to a point, and then I just stream and we find out where we are. Is that something that could happen? I feel like we can make it work. I don't know. You got a chocolate chip cookie for breakfast. I'm doing great. Love that from you. Love that. I've got a coffee, by the way. Has anybody else got a coffee? Cheers to all. Look what that says. What a year. What a year. Never forget it. <laughs> uh, Kev, thank you for the five months. And I should say as well, before we went live, gambling did drop his 39th month of uh, of sub subscribing. Uh, and he asked for the move on up by Curtis Mayfield as our stream starting song. So we did use that as our song. So there we go. I mean, we did have a DJ stream with Clay's biggest hits the, this past week. Yeah, we kind of did, didn't we? Uh, you don't have people for that. That's maybe true. I think Leonie could do it. You could do it with a coffee. Cheers, everybody. Just broken into the Christmas sweets. Loving that as well. 
I'll DM you about that. Okay, possibly. I feel like we kind of need to play the save for a stream save, but we are where we are, right? So the dossier signs Osman. I did see your tweet, Pav, and um, I'm going to do my best to avoid that today. We're going to try not to sign Victor Osman. Although maybe we'll just check if he's interested. No, we're not. He, I think he'd be as expensive as Evan Ferguson, by the way. He's, his value is over 100 million as well, but maybe they'd accept something. I think he might have a release clause, actually. We're not doing it. We're not signing Osman. But maybe Sesco. Let's talk about it. Let's jump into the save. Uh, did you watch the game yesterday? Thoughts on the Mighty Ange? They're good, aren't they? The bubble's going to burst. Please let the bubble burst. Uh, no, Spurs are good. Spurs are like... Uh, like... Good in a way that is actually more sustainable than I think people think. One second. Intimate zoom. Um, they're like... They, do, they kind of pick their moments. Please know I'm enjoying this high. Absolutely enjoy this high if you're a Spurs fan. Uh, but like, they're not particularly like, they're not very Ange in that it's not, it's not a hundred, like a hundred percent all the time in a game. They look distinctly average for long periods, but sort of in control. And then they're just like incisive at different points. And you've got Son to score a goal or you've got like Madison to make something, which is kind of title winny. I, I don't think they're going to win the title. Don't get me wrong. But that is that is how you go and win a title. Going to places like Palace and winning comfortably as well. Fair play. No, lo, uh, If you're a Spurs fan, long may it continue. They look great. Um, They've got a horrible run of fixtures though up next, haven't they? So um, like if, if, they, if this is where it pops, then this is where it pops. But fair play for the start they've made. Liverpool still win the league though, easy probably. Probably at like 30, 30, 40 points by the end of the season. As a West Ham fan, it's hard seeing Spurs playing so well. I can imagine. I can definitely imagine. Uh, morning, Sombrero. How are you? Good morning. What do we need? A striker. We're going to sign a striker. Uh, uh, if you feel for Kane, if they end up winning the league. I feel like that would be one of the funniest things ever. They have the opportunity to do the funniest thing, right? As an Auss Aussie watching a lot of Ange ball, he's only getting started there riding their luck. Yes. Oh, exactly, Mika. I don't think they fully anged yet either. And they are riding their luck, but also title winning teams ride their luck. And title challenging teams, now again, again, don't get me wrong, I don't think they're going to win the league. However, title challenging teams get off to a good start and then ride the momentum until the end of the season. It's exactly what Arsenal did last season. It's what Liverpool, like when they did win the league, it's like they just started like a, like and didn't lose until, well, they lost one game all season, didn't they? Like, it's how you actually do it. Just came up against Karim Kanate at Newcastle. Yeah, I um, we had a look at him yesterday. Have he is definitely an option. I think we'll consider him. Um, by the way, we have some things going on. Let's talk about this. Titles and Spurs in the same sentence. I know, right? I know. I've watched Ange batter our league for two seasons. Only just get starting. Let him bring in his high press players, and you will wish you against this version again. Yeah, possibly, quite possibly. Uh, Kev, thank you for the five. Gambling, thank you for the thirty-nine. I think Timo, uh, in between streams, dropped a primer as well so thank you timo for the prime too i appreciate it 150 subs 100 until we get an ep could today be the day unlikely how about latara martinez uh a bit old he's not less than 24 isn't he he's unreal on this game though unreal osman are we going to try and get ferguson we've tried ferguson he uh he said no i'll show you here look this is the sitch it's the 9th of jan and by the way don't think we talked about it yesterday we're top of the bloody league I don't know where and how and why this has happened, but we've only lost two all season. Despite drawing five in our first 21, we're top of the bloody league. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, City are coming. City are going to get six points from these and then be top of the league. But still, we're top of the bloody league. Is Sesco ridiculously cheap? No, 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 no. Um, we tried to get Ferguson. I made a bid of £168 million, which they rejected. So, I think we're going to draw the line there and say we're not going to get Evan Ferguson, even though he keeps talking to the press about how much he does actually want to join us now. Like, I think we almost have unsettled him. Does it say it anywhere? Ferguson puts on a show for Newcastle. He's desperate to make the move happen, etc. Uh, he said to be impressed by our competition standing and a move would appeal to him, but he hasn't requested a transfer yet. I wish there was an option. I wish there was something here that could say, like, speak to his agent and say, we really want to make a move, but he's going to have to kick up a fuss for us to be able to get him from Brighton. Like, I feel like it should be there. Or is that, like, against the rules? I'm not sure. He's thrown himself at us, I know. Karim Canate, Hoyland. Hoyland's at United. That's not... Uh, realistic has to be somewhere in the, in the, in the melting pot. 
but what who we're going to sign. Yeah, it does sound a bit tapping up, doesn't it? You're right. Is that not tec technically tapping up? No. Yeah, well, no, yeah, technically it is. But I feel like it definitely happens in real life, though, as well, doesn't it? In fairness, I think Marcus Leonardo in FM terms is clear, but maybe that was last year. I know, he's on our list. I don't know how good he's in real life, though. For the price, you can't miss him, I know. That's it. I'm waiting for someone to say Mbappe. They will, yeah. I'll tell you who's in the mix. Let's actually make a plan now, then, because I feel like people are already chucking names into the mix. We've got 86 mil liquid money, 500k in wage budget. So, basically... The biggest and most expensive signings are all there. I'm going to make a new... I'm going to make a new uh, shortlist. We've got our shortlist, but I'm going to make a new shortlist for now because these are realistic ones. Uh, Jan 24 Striker. I love shortlists. Me too. So let's go to this shortlist and add these ones here. Openda is an option. Fits the bill. Sesco fits the bill. Boniface, I don't think will talk to us because I think he's still considering himself new at Bayer Leverkusen. But I feel like we should add him. To, I think all of these almost should go on the list except for Ferguson now. Leonardo, I think we get him as an extra option. He's so cheap, but we get him as an extra option. So these go on the list. But there are more. On that list also, Mr. Ivan Tony. Returns from his ban in six, seven days. They'll be half the price in the summer. Yeah, also true. Also true. Just throw a new contract to Miura and end up and bang him up top. No, Gachenko. How you doing, Pumps? Welcome in, buddy. I'm going to add Ivan Tony to that January striker list because at this price and on those wages, I think he's a very viable option. It feels like a Newcastle signing. He played for them, where he played two games, and it, he's English. And he's also very good. So I do feel like this is an option. He doesn't fit the dossier, though, because he's 27. So he doesn't fit our particular dossier. But I'm going to add him to the list here. Maybe as a stopgap to bring in somebody like Evan Ferguson in the summer or somebody like Sesco or Appenda in the summer, for example. Is Vlahovic an option? Now, Vlahovic actually could be an option. I don't feel like this is super unrealistic, actually, because... He was linked with the Premier League move quite a lot in the summer, wasn't he? And I don't feel like he's having a great time at Juve. So to be honest, even though he's at Juve, which you'd consider maybe a top team, I think he is actually an option. Just change the club badge and he's fine. Yeah. So you're right. I'm going to add him to our shortlist too. I don't massive, although he's quite good. I don't massively fancy this one as much as other people, but I'm going to add him to the list. Krupe is really young, isn't he? So I'm going to say no to that. He, I, I feel like... Starting striker that we want to get now and a young youth striker are going to be two separate people that we're going to buy. Tammy, a bit too old and I feel like it's just a bit overdone. Oh, I mean, that might change it. I mean, Tammy should be in. We should get Tammy as well, shouldn't we? Tammy's transfer listed for 13 million. I mean, does Tammy Abraham join anyway? That's really quite annoying. Cough lolly, how you doing, buddy? He is injured. He is injured for only two to five weeks, though. For 13 million, I almost feel like you do that as well. I'm gonna I'll add him to the list because well, that feels like an opportunity that we're not gonna miss. I think Appender fits the mold as you already have that tall striker. I agree, D Rev. Yeah. Callum Oh yeah, also, just to consider, we did sell Callum Wilson for 30 million pounds. Uh, three days ago. So we are needing somebody. Tammy's realistic in terms of he coming back, be a Newcastle or a Villa. I agree. I just don't think I want to hang my hat on him as our striker because I think signing Tammy Abraham in FM has become a bit overdone, which is also what is playing into my mind with Sesco. But Sesco at least is exciting. Do you know what I mean? Cannot be putting Wahi uh, in. I'm not putting Eli, Wah Eli Wahi in because of his... Um, He just feels like... Uh, I just don't want to go anywhere near that, to be honest. Xerxes is a creative striker. Xerxes is great. Again, I've signed him quite a lot. The other person that I'm going to throw into this mix, and I'm going to see how you react to it, Julian Alvarez. Julian Alvarez is unsettled and unhappy at Manchester City. He is interested. In fact, he's not, apparently. He is interested in a move... Between 39 and 48 million pounds as they view him as a fringe player. Is that, uh, is that realistic IRL though? Yeah. 
I think you might be right, which is maybe why I might swerve it. However, is it something... Like, do we apply the realism of the save in that he's not playing in the save? But then, yeah, Pep does love him in real life, and he is really good, isn't he? I don't know. Like, I'm going to add him to the list, something to consider. Would be big wages as well, but he is actually very gettable in this save here. So I'm going to add him to the list and consider him. What about Eddie Nketiah as a stopgap? Um, don't really like him. And also, chat, I'm going to say this. I said this yesterday as well. Please, I'm, I, I love the suggestions. I appreciate them. If I say no to them, it could just be that I've got an agenda and it's my own personal agenda and, and, and I can only apologize. Okay, but I'm not going to sign them. All right. I feel like you would like Peter Musa. I love Peter Musa. Again, I don't know if he's like, is he good enough IRL? He's, he's a little bit old at 25. I'm living to be honest. Little Ujo would never. Yeah, fair. I'm, I'm, I'm owning it, all right? It's my agenda, okay? Gift or bans already on the list, Demo. How are you doing, by the way? Boniface on the list. Makoko feels a bit... Ugh. I'm not signing Makoko again. It's not 2018, if you see what I mean. He's slightly better in your save, is he? He's pretty good, but... um, Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't excite me. Is Sesco on the shortlist? Sesco is on the shortlist. So far, this is our shortlist. So far, we have got... In fact, let's give all of them a scout, even though for some reason some of them haven't. Some of these have, but we'll get another one. Uh, let's just scout them again here. Colin Moani, way too expensive. Gontrola Ramos, too unrealistic. He's just moved, probably. And again, just not... Don't know. Don't really like it. Uh, to be fair, that shortlist is probably the best options. I think it might be. I think we've got some good ones on there. Add Osman on there because you know you want to. I'm not signing Osman. Raspadoy, eh. Evan Ilsen, feel like I've signed him millions of times. Chimiti's only just gone to Everton. Uh, Matthias Tal should go on this shortlist. Yeah. Matthias Tal is definitely one that I agree with. We almost signed him in the summer. Um, if he's still not playing, he's only played six games. He's the type that maybe a Newcastle would take a punt on. And he wouldn't be too much money, I don't think. Like, they were going to loan him to us, weren't they? Darwizzi, I'd love to sign, but no. It's not realistic. Calvert-Lewin, you know. Calvert-Lewin. I'm not... I don't think I want him. But should probably be on the list. Because I could see Newcastle making a move for him. A little bit too old at 26, but yeah. Uh, Echeverry, a bit too young, Lenny. Rooney, not a striker. Santiago Jimenez is an odd one. He is, actually. Jimenez, like that, is it? He looks really good. He's not as good on this save. I don't think he's good enough for right now. Patinia, Eh. Adamu. Actually, I didn't realise Adamu m moved to the Bundesliga. I really liked him at... Was it Salzburg? I thought he was going to be great. And then he's moved to the Bundesliga and been a bit naff for Freiburg. But super cheap. But probably not quite the level we need, is it? I think you should look at... I tell you what. Signing Van Persie is still very much on my agenda, though. Not Robin Van Persie. Um... I feel like we should get this done earlier rather than later. Sooner rather than later. Will he talk to us yet? He wouldn't talk to us before, though. Uh, Chelsea probably value him really like highly, but Broher seems realistic. Broher does seem realistic, actually, yeah. Yeah, they do, d -Rov, yeah. Karim Kanate should probably be on there. I'm just going to... I mean, he's not. He's a youth option, but I'm going to put him on there anyway. And Karim Kanate, yeah, I will add him. Spendy looks good. Nitro a bit too young, I think, as well. Spen uh, do you know what? I don't hate the idea of getting Karim Kanate now and just developing him. don't hate this one at all. Kyogo. Meh. Van Persie's English. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it, Pumpster? Really good. Evan Ferguson, we've already tried to sign. He was first choice, but he's too expensive. Like, I think, where was he on our on our plan? Who was... it? Well, yeah, he was number one target, look, Sesco. If you... Oh, no, sorry. Sesco's number one target. If you have a look at our original dossier. It's Evan Ferguson, Boniface, Leonardo, Giftelban, and Appender on there. So I feel like we've ticked most of those. Adiemi, I feel like it's a bit overdone. He plays for the Dutch youth team IRL and will play for the Netherlands, not the UK. We'll see, won't we? But probably. Probably. Uh, have you seen Franco Gonzalez, insane player at a young age? I haven't actually seen him, so I'm going to look just because I am curious. Um, yeah, he's a good young Uruguayan. Great finishing. Can kind of play the way you play him. Shadow striker. Why has he only got five balance? Why can't he stand up straight, though? What's wrong with him? 
I really like the idea of N. Nezri. He's a bit older, but N. Nezri would be very, would be like a smart signing, I feel. He's also five foot five, yeah. He's a small boy. <laughs> In terms of uh, young players, um, Omorodian looks promising. He does, yeah. Adiemi, I think, is a bit overdone. I know that then we're going to consider Sesco, but still. Real Madrid, I think, won him. Yeah, they do. I looked at him before. I quite like N. Nezri. Six foot two. He would he would be good in the match engine for sure. He would definitely score goals. Um have a look at Dortmund. They've too many strikers this year. Well they've got like Donyan Malen, uh, and Alair and stuff. Made to play in England for sure. I give him a little scout. Troy Deeney, no. Uh, if there's a gust of wind, he's getting blown over, he will, won't he? Yeah. I don't know if there's many more. Let's just look at a list of strikers. I don't know if there's many more than the ones we've got there. Like, I feel like we've probably found the best ones. Uh, Xao Pedro, we're not going to sign, even though he would be good. He's more expensive than Ferguson, it seems. Look at Brighton, and they're struggling with this. Yoga Thomas, not particularly interested in. Charde, no. Our, um, our, our DOF doesn't, predict, doesn't suggest great ones. And Nesri does come up, though, look, actually. And uh, this Pedro guy, who we used to love, but is... I mean, he's actually only 26. He'll be cheap. There's, Chelsea and Spurs want him as well. I just think he's a bit meh. Tyra Martinez, nah. Love FM treating te Brighton terribly. Yeah, weird one. They've got all the players, but don't really perform. Uh, Inaki Williams is a bit too old, isn't he? 29. Nico Williams, on the other hand, not a striker necessarily, but yeah. He's not young, but as a stopgap, Trossard is a pretty realistic uh, backup. Realistic? I don't think Arsenal are selling him this January, are they? Not sure. Uh, Gabby Gold can confirm still got it. Really? That's fun. Check stats in scouting to see if any under-23s have more than 10 goals at this point. Yeah, we could do that. That's quite a realistic way of doing it, but um, I'm not sure I... Mm, I'm not sure I want people who are good in the save. I want people who are going to be good in real life. Like, this guy is actually an option too. Like, if you want to go and get ahead of the game, M M Moritz Kjargaard, you're like uh, Lucas Beltran. Yeah, he's, the, he's at Fiorentina, right? Came from... He was at River before. This guy's good. This guy is like, I wish he could finish. This guy is like, um, like, uh, Hoyland slash, like, Bellio last year. I, I, I don't know why he's got nine finishing, but yeah. It is a bit of a myth anyway. He, he would score goals, but yeah, quite like him. Uh, are you Stoder's twin? Uh, no. First, first thing to say in the chat. Um... Let's just look at strikers again here. Any of these jump out. And Buemo feels a bit realistic, but probably not going to do it. Fafana's fighting coaches at the moment. Um, Cunha, nah. Not the type of striker I don't think we need. I like him, though. Retair? Jorginho Retair from Leeds feels fun, but I don't know how good he actually is. He's a midfielder, not a striker, yeah. Quite like him. Uh, he's a bit like the Belgian Milan lad. Is there a striker who's not got great stats but scores for fun like Beto was last year, pre-Everton move? Yeah, that's true. Uh, Calamuendo better. Yeah, probably. A bit small though, isn't he? Small. Gnonto? Meh. Meh. Not really into the Gnonto thing. Although he's great. He's a very small boy, isn't he? Hear me out, Lukaku. I just don't want to sign Lukaku. He'd probably be quite good. He scores an FM usually as well, but I just don't want to sign him, I don't think. Jonas Wind is very us, just big and tall. 6'3 guy, but meh. Not sure he's got the real life uh, pedigree, necessarily. Xerxes I like, but again, I think I've signed him too many times. Donia Malen, um, he's starting for Dortmund though, isn't he? I do really like him. He's, I just don't think he's what we need right now, though. Kubo, yeah, and Ketian, no. John Duran. I mean, we did see him give birth to a football in a game yesterday, didn't we? So, Joel Perot is great for Leeds, yeah. Uh, Juckler, I mean, Beyond is happy with that one. This Van Doeven's really good at PSV. I think we're veering away from the type of strike we need right now, though. Hugo Juro scored loads of goals in the past, doesn't he? Canate got 30 goals half season on your Benfica, really. Who do the scouts recommend? Um... I've basically got... Look at my recruitment focuses. I've got the dossier here. In terms of strikers on here, can I filter these? Or just... Can I just do it like this? 
They've got Hoyland on there, which I'm... Why's that gone away? Which I don't want to do. They've got Ansu Fati on there, Shelder up on there. Julian Alvarez is on there. Uh, who does Clates recommend? Mbolo. We could have a look at Mbolo. <laughs> Van Dooyven is really good at everything except scoring. Okay, interesting. Nathan Butler or Yadeji? Now there's a shout, isn't there? So, chat, I feel like we've kind of... kind of exhausted the list of options. What we need to do is make a decision from this, from this list here. Alvarez is a shout if he wasn't playing IRL, Newcastle would go for him. Yeah, I love the idea of him, but I just don't know if it, we lose the realism a bit by signing Julian, uh, Julian Alvarez. It's cheap as well. Incredibly interested. Do we make the move for Sesco? Because I do just think he's so expensive. And what we could find is that he's going to be too expensive. He wouldn't go there, though. He'd go to Real Madrid. Yeah, I think so as well. I think we might do Tammy as well, Ryan. If it was me, I'd sign Tammy now and Sesco in the summer. Yeah, Canato is better than Sesco. Do you think? Let's compare. Uh, is he on my list here? No. Let's compare. I think Sesco is better. Just looking at that. Uh, he's got way better aerially, better technicals, same attacking, better vision, one slower... Same physicals, and then defending doesn't matter. I think even just this makes a difference. He's like, Sesco's better. Would one of the Liverpool attackers realistic like Jota? No, Jota's not realistic. Newcastle aren't signing Jota this January, are they? In any case of the world. Marcus Leonardo will do the job. He will, yeah. Some players won't negotiate until later on. Leave some funds. Yeah. Doesn't really help us too much now, though. I think Sesco's better. Dundee United shout and not from me. Wow. R Rory McLeod. Really? Did you look at Santi Jimenez? No. I feel like there's something... Is there something dodgy with him? Or is, there, is that somebody else? That's how you know you're big time. Exactly. Sesco only just moved to Leipzig though. So he's unrealistic IRL. Kind of is. But Leipzig aren't exactly scared of signing... Is that Santi Mina? I'm thinking of Santi Mina then. So sorry, Santi Jimenez. Nothing dodgy with him. Okay. Um... No, 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 no. Pav was answering it, who the dodgy one was because I said, is it him in it? It's a different Santi. Uh, Sesco's better now, but Canate is an insane upgrade in one season. Yeah, possibly true. I mean, I don't hate the idea of signing Karim Canate. Do you think he's got good potential? Because the B scout report kind of scared, although he does look. I'll show you here. You're not that much of a monster. No, it wasn't a suggestion from him. Gerasi probably should be on the list, Chevens, actually. You're right. I don't think we're going to sign him, though. I'm almost... I'm tempting myself into Canate. How would you feel if we tried to sign Canate, chat? Just a quick yes, no in the chat. I don't... I don't hate it. I'm kind of like... I'm working with this now. A quick yes, no vibe on Canate. Does it fit the bill? Like, Sesco is 100 mil. And also, I do know, know what, what you mean. Like, he's only just moved to Leipzig, hasn't he? Canate rather than Leonardo as it's played out for you. Yeah. Lots of yeses. A couple no's. All right. People who said no, why no? You, you need to give me context. If you're a yes, fine. If you're a no, I want context. In my Milan save, he signed for Newcastle and he's banging goals for them. Yeah. Too short. Okay. We do have Izak for our big striker build, though, if we need that. Do what you feel, mate. We will do in the end. You know that we do this, Begotten. I love having the chats with you, though. And I like, like, you guys do buy into the idea of, like, what, what fits for the save. Like, there's a narrative angle to it, which I think is really right. Uh, you don't like his technicals. Okay, that's fair. Pretty poor. I mean, most of these don't matter. The passing being low isn't great. But that's kind of the only thing that really matters to, matters to me in here. First touch and dribbling isn't high yet, but remember he's only 19. He can definitely run. He's got the 15 pace, 17 acceleration. The composure's only... The composure's 12. I think that's fine. I think he scores goals. If, if your reason is simply you'd sign somebody else, I need you to consider the things like the price and all those things as well, I suppose. Are you buying for first choice? Well, yes and no, Ren. Because remember, we have Alexander Izak. So we are buying for first choice, but also we're not. Because really, 
we don't need a striker, but we only need a striker because Callum Wilson has gone and also Z uh, Izak gets injured. So Izak, Tammy, Canate in a front three. Stop that. How much for Sesco? Over 100 mil. Over 100 mil. If he's back up, then, fi then it's fine. Okay, that helps, I suppose. That's one person converted. Get him scouted. He is already scouted. His scout report looks pretty good. The, let's have a look at these cons, I suppose. Doesn't have the greatest jumping reach, but we know that. Could do have been taught uh, aerial is his thing. Can only play one position. That's all right. Um, he struggles in distance cover, passes completed, and possession one. I think that's all fine. And they're not prepared to sell him, I suppose. But they will be prepared to sell him if we pay them 30 million, won't they? Three strikers for life, I know. Check Rocco Simic. Rocco Simic is actually probably something that should be on our list. You're probably correct on that. It probably should be on our list for very cheap. Like, he could come... We could get Kanate and him, couldn't we? But I'm going to go back to Kanate. I feel like... I don't know what it is. I'm picking up a vibe. And Karim Kanate fits the bill for me. Perfectionist personality. What a face I don't think will move, Luke. I like the idea, but I don't think he moves. Let's change the title to buy an 120 mil striker and then sign in Sesco, yeah. Canate looks better than Simic. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that too. Who plays more, scores more for Salzburg, Canate or Simic? I assume that... Canate's only actually played eight games for Salzburg this year. Yeah, the fact consistency and... That they're not in his pros, which means that they're not high, but they're also not super low. You're probably right, Ren. Santiago Jimenez at final, done in 22 as well. Around. Yeah, we looked at him before. Simic has been good for Salzburg when I've seen him. Is he starting ahead of him? No, it's because they're playing neither. They're playing Seku Koita in there as their striker. Who's actually really good. I don't think I want to sign him. I do want to sign Gorna Duarth. They're, signing Kia they're playing Kiargaard behind the strikers. But they're not playing either of them. In fact... Simic is asked to move. Could be super cheap, Simic. Hasn't scored a goal for them yet, though. Hasn't played a game for them this season. That is cheap. Um, thanks for the follows, by the way. I think, chat, this is why you're in January. Oh, yeah. I think we know the answer. Let's see what they want. Mutual interest. That's good. He wants not the most ridiculous wage, if we can get him towards the 68k. Between 18 and 22 million is pretty cheap, although they usually ask for a bit more than this when you actually speak to them. Bring Tony home. I think we've maybe glossed past the Tony thing a little bit, haven't we? I'm going to make a bid for Karim Kanate. I think it fits. It gives us money to go and spend elsewhere as well, which could be fun. I think it fits. I don't know. Is he quite... Is he top, top range? Let's do some instalments because... We love an instalment here. What, so between 18 and 22, if we offer the 22, if I keep that as low as that. Um, he will be, yeah, get him. He will be top, top tier. Yeah, I think so. Train him left wing. We could train him left wing. He's fast enough to train and be like a rotation with Isaac on that left wing too, isn't he? I'll tell you what. I don't hate that at all for 10 million now. If you actually look at the breakdown of when we spend this money, we spend 10 million now. Next year, we spend 3 mil. The year after, 3 mil. Then 3 mil. Then 1.25 and then 1.25. I tell you what, we don't even finish paying for this until 2028. You can't see any of that, can you? Look at the actual breakdown on here. I feel like we've done all right with that. I mean, we could go and get Sesco as well, genuinely. <laughs> we've got the money to, but I don't think I'm going to. Have a look at Lucas Roman. I told you about them instalments. I know, look, Stephen. Like, I didn't realize they stack that way, like this, on the never never. It's more never never than ever before. More never never than ever. All right. Do we bring Tony home as well? Do we need to? No. But should we? Could we? Will we? We bring in Canate first, then have a think about it. What else would you be doing? Hello, Cardini. Welcome in, buddy. 
I've actually changed uh, to yes. I think this plays out if this save continues. Uh, Kanata comes in as backup for Izak for 18 months and goes past Izak and could be first choice was young world beater develops. I think you're right, Lolly. I'm glad you've changed your mind. Thank you for being open towards it. Uh, Tammy or Tony for the squad. Home to Northampton. Yeah, but, you know, we're playing the narrative up here, aren't we? Uh... It's not. If you use my link, Ilioseem. <laughs> Good plugging. Uh, also, I've got bids for some other people. I've managed to slightly, ever so slightly, auction off Fabian share. I've got it up to £6.5 million to Roma. His contract runs out in the summer, so we're going to ship him off. Maybe we sign another striker. Uh, sorry, another centre-back now. Because LaSalle is also going to go for a million to Getafe. And Mankia might also go at some point. I think you sell Sammy, uh, Tammy for 60 million, probably. Do you have enough homegrown quality if you, if not, bring Tony in? Uh, well, we've lost Wilson. We're losing Lascelles. So we probably do need somebody. Could be Tammy, it could be Tony. I think I'd prefer to sign Tony, though, just for the narrative. Should I see how much Tony. Should I see how much Tony is? Gay or Tamori? Has Gay's price come down at all? No. Look at Gay's price. Musiala has gone to PSG season two. Wow. Well. Hmm. Um. And Tamori's price, I think, is even more. I'd love either, by the way. I would love either of these. Mate, I would love Tamori, even though he's slightly older. Be a great signer for Newcastle, wouldn't he? Antonio Silva is a good option. Again, quite expensive for. In this save. This is my stubbornness. Not writing Antonio in. Instead of scrolling through here. Ugh. No lie. Max Kilman has been fantastic for me. I feel like we're pretty sorted at left centre backs though. Well we've got Botman haven't we. Okay. Still was maybe a bit cheaper. Kilman's great. We just bought IRL Liverpool Tyler. So you're even more expensive Ross. We looked at centre backs. This was our last debate wasn't it? So yours maybe even more, unless his price has come down for whatever reason. And he didn't look as good. Although his price maybe has come down a little bit. I do really like him. Not prepared to sign him 63 to 93. It's actually not too bad. Bring Adam Armstrong home. No, Diamande. Diamande already plays for us. TB's not needed right now, so it's fine. I mean, I think there might be one more. We are selling share. We've only brought Diamande in and we're selling share. So the right centre back, we are a little bit light. Because LaSalle's goes as well. Like, we are, we actually do need somebody. Silver has a release clause, does he? Of what? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. I want to do an Asio. I really like an Asio. I know he's left sided, but yeah. Score prediction for Liverpool Forest tomorrow. Uh, 7 0 Liverpool. The bar needs to develop fantastically. I bet he has. Yeah, he's great. No, nah, I mean, it won't be 7 0. I'm going, so it won't be 7 0. Are you one? No. Thank you for the follow. Z on the right and Asu on the left. I mean, we've already got Botman as well. I think we actually maybe do need a centre back. I mean, we've been here before. We've got a very much already a list of centre backs that we can consider from. Uh, how you doing, Ryan? Uh, yeah, Joe Perro. I am. I will, Ryan. Okay. Sorry, robot lady told me to do it. Celebrate three hands in the air. I got a good uh, year one player. It's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for the two months. Appreciate you, buddy. My favorite resub, that is. Inacio is wanted by Real Madrid. Is now the time to move for him. For somebody I really would like to sign. It probably is. Can he play right side? Also, with Gay, something to remember. Somebody pointed this out on Twitter. Prefers the left. So I don't think we consider him as our right centre-back. He's very Van Dyke-like, prefers the left. Inacio's fairly cheap. Now, we, we'll miss him if we don't get him now. I feel like we might do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a move for it. I like him. I think I did do a bid and it was way too much, though. 43 to 54. It's quite a lot of money. You also have Vitic from Sparta Prague. Yeah, I'm just not, um, not as into it as some of the other ones that I like IRL a bit more. Like, Inacio, I really like. But yeah. He's an option. Uh, Ren, thank you for gifting a sub. You've gifted a sub to Jebaru. You're 54th gifted. Thank you, buddy. Chat, you know what to do. Get your Trents in the chat. Michelle Pfeiffer is still, uh, still the man. So cheap. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? I'm not sure his first name is Michelle, but yes. Let's do... 
let's see if we can do a little on the never never for for Goncalo. Not quite on the ne never never, like, but on the never never. 7.5, 7.5, 15. That's 45 million. Is it Patrick? Yeah, Patrick Pfeiffer, that's right. That gives 45. They want between 43 and 54. It's Michelle. <laughs> Let's give them that little bit of profit because they love a profit. Doesn't Anash have a release clause? No, again, no. Does not. Where's my transfer bid gone? There it is. Wait, 54. What? Wait, 54. Oh, you, Ren, I see what you've done. I see what you're talking about. I was like confused by that then. Now 55. Thank you, Ren. You need to round that off. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the gifteds. Jesus. All right. They now want, they now want 67 million out of nowhere. Because they didn't want to sell mid-season, even though it's the window. Fate signs Antonio Silva in shock. <laughs> but it's on the never never. It is. Uh if anyone if the N if the NECV next time we play clubs isn't Michelle Pfeiffer, I'll be upset. That's good. You'll be here for the never never, I know. But I kind of don't like doing it too much. What about that? What about that? Can have lots of the profit. 20 million. It's quite a lot. But it is all in 56 mil. 56 mil, I think, for a pretty top level centre back is not the worst anyway. When we've got actual money. It's quite a lot. But I really... He was one that I wanted to sign in this save anyway. I don't know if he was on the dossier, actually. I didn't put... He was. He was on the dossier, look. In behind Hincapié for left centre-back. So, I've wanted him from the start. And Hincapié is going to cost over 100 million. So, I feel like this is probably the way to go. Bye Leverkusen, by the way. If I was going to do another saves video, they'd be a great option for a save. Just look at their team. I know they are smashing it with Jabby Alonso in real life. But I actually deeped it a little bit more and realised how fun this team is to go and do a save with. Like... Love Tapsoba, love Hincapié, love Palacios, Grimaldo's great, love Verts, and then up front they've got Boniface. Kusanu as well develops to a really good centre-back. Like, what a squad. I love it when a team just develops a squad, like, out of nowhere. And then Patrick Schick, Will and E up front as well, who's just very me and very lots of us as well. That's a lot of love. I, I mean, it's fun. It's a really fun team. And Bamba, I feel like I've signed in the past as well. Like, look at that. Kozek, FM legend as well. He is wonderful. He is also wonderful. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I'm going to sign, hopefully, Canate and Inacio now. And we'll go from there. Uh, they've asked for a loan back, which I think I'm going to say no to. Grimaldo's great. Sounds like a diss after all that love. That's true, actually, Hutch, didn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. No, he's great. Uh, Canate wants to be a squad player. That's fine. That helps with settling him in. 68 was the low point, I think, wasn't it? So if we can do 60 with... Yeah, I don't mind the wage rises. I don't mind... Okay, that's quite a lot. Let's give you 15% and then a bigger goal, one of those. And then when you play, you can have a bit more money. Maybe, do you know what? Let's put you a bit higher to start with and then we keep you there rather than... That's... Make that 70. Make that 3. Make this... That... I'm okay with it. Tadebo for the other side, be gettable. I actually really like the idea of Tadebo. You know, when we were talking about right side of centre backs, Tadebo was my one that I kept almost going back to. How you doing, Clay's Fresh Trim? Thank you, buddy. How you doing, Fulham Arsh? <laughs> Great name. Great name. Reject that. Let's get an Asio. We've got loads in wages. We've got loads of money. We should just spend money and make, like, let's have fun. Regular starter. See if he'll do 90k a week. He wants 100. See if we do 90k a week. He wants 90. Done. Lone player to return, Joe White. Welcome back. Uh, I, for one, am, am shocked. Yeah. I don't think we need Tadebo now, do we? But it would give us some nice... I'm gonna, can I sign rest yet again? 
I can't. Uh, they keep rejecting it, don't they? Let's try 10 mil now. They keep rejecting it. I can't. Oh, actually, do we need to check any of these? Oh, we can't sign Canate, can we? Stop. We can't sign Canate. We can't sign under 21s. Oh, no. The bloody rules we all forget. <laughs> well, you guys should have remembered that. You give me rubbish. You were like, oh, laughing at me when I forgot this for those other signings. And you all forgot. <laughs> and I know it's my save, but you all forgot this as well. You're the one in charge here. Am I, though? Am I really? <laughs> Is the question we all have to ask here. Uh, Charlie, we can't sign any more. I wish it tell. I swear it didn't tell me. It probably did. I, I swear it didn't, though. Can I see it on here? Nothing. There's nothing on. It does. No, it does say it there. Look, it's in red. It's it's in red. Um. Can I change it now? Can I change it to to the summer? Ah, uh, but even that. Even if I accepted the um the loan back, it still doesn't work. Then it's an Osimhen back. Go grab Victor Osimhen. No, I'll tell you what we're going to do. They even used the teacher's red pen. I think that's why I didn't see it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's go and get Ivan Tony. Let's go get Ivan Tony and then Canate in the summer. Who says no? Probably lots of you in the chat. I think that makes... I think that makes sense. Let's grab... Let's grab... Tony... I say no. Nah, I think Tony over Tammy just because I always sign Tammy. And it's a bit overdone. Tammy's super cheap though. There is that. I just don't... It's not hitting me in the... In the... It's not exciting me. But stick money on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good one. Tony and Tonali in the same team. Yes. Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't expecting a little bit of Troy Bolton there, were you? Um, right. I'm going to have to cancel this, and I'm so sorry, Karim Canate. I, I, I'm so sorry. You're old enough, right? Yeah, you're 22. You also not having an Osman emote is still is shocking. That is really true. We should, shouldn't we? Right, Ivan. I bet you can bring him in. Ivan Doni. I bet you can bring him. What? I bet. I see what you're saying. I don't know why that took me a while there. Ivan Tony, 35 to 43. Their strong financial position makes it he wants a lot of money. He did have one during showdowns. I feel like I did at some point. Yeah, because he had his mask on, didn't he? We definitely did have one at some point. Yeah. Gwyn, and you kind of look like the actor. What, Troy Bolton? I'll take it. I'll take it. Get Boniface or the Stuttgart striker, a couple of people who are tearing up IRL. Uh, both. Girassi's a bit too old, and Boniface won't join us at the moment because he is um only just joined Stuttgart he won't won't do it okay let's see if we can do some never never for Ivan Tony we might we might be able to i i bet Ivan Benjamin Elijah Tony is that his first, is that his full name <laughs> compare tony with umar sadiq uh homegrown thing though i want to do tony I don't think Tony's the best, but I think for homegrown reasons, I want to do Tony, I think. Percentage of profit. You can't be saying words like profit. Just for me. Anything for you, Puff. Anything for you. Yeah, it probably can, actually, Leonie. You're right. It's very... Ch I mean, he's so good, isn't he, Umar Sadiq? So good. I'm not comparing them because it's just going to upset me. But yeah, he's really good. Right, 40 mil, 10 million now. Spreading it over a little bit of time. Come on, he's banned, lads. You can't be asking for 60 million for a player who's banned. Oh, here's to me, Jordan Henderson. Just wanted to confirm. Yeah, yeah, fair. Do you think that I are you goal was humble? Uh, don't know. Didn't watch it. Doesn't matter. They lost the game. Who cares? Uh, ban for one more week. Yeah, we got one more week of the ban. 
52 mil. Is that too much? Do I come back and renegotiate this? I feel like that's quite a lot. 72 million right now. 72? 17 million right now feels like a hefty chunk. But it's 52 million all in. You can't see it, but it's 52. Is that a bit too much? Then Ali Tony next year will be signing Zaniolo. I mean, is he available? <laughs> um, oh, someone asked about the skin, by the way. Um, the Clate skin. Uh, Kajoro just messaged me saying he's planning on a beta release today. So he's going to send me the, the skin later. That's exciting, isn't it? Uh, you won't pay like 15 of the mat ever, so... We haven't effed. Where have you effed, Ropper? Imagine seeing news about uh, your list. Turned in a few, tuned in a few minutes ago, heard only Tammy and Tony. What, are, what other strikers? I've, I've com managed to combine two messages there. Imagine seeing news about Tony betting on his next, next move. That'd be next level of it. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, Zanny only scored like 10 goals against me, I swear. He's good. He is good. Not like this is ever going to be a long term save. Bankrupt the club. Can we just do this? I feel like I could get it cheaper, but I'm just going to do it. Like, we've been forced into... We tried to do the smart thing. Squad player's nice. We tried to do the smart thing by getting... Um... What's his face? Canate. And got... And got, uh, and got snaked out of it. So, we've tried to be smart. I don't want to give you 130 million. A million? K a week. Relax. Relax. Uh, Paul Antonio Osman. No. <laughs> Can you really bankrupt a Saudi-backed club? Great challenge, yep. Yeah. Abraham and Canate. Uh, Canate, we can't get until the summer. We've signed too many under-21 players. We are kind of departing from our... Departing from our dossier a bit, but... Mm. As a fellow primary school teacher, I commend you on being able to balance work in your FM career. Brilliant. Thank you, buddy. It's, um... Yeah, it's a constant... A constant battle. But thank you, dude. Right, play 30 and you get your 130k a week. There you go. Uh, morning, morning. Uh, Newcastle tweeted confirming Tonali's ban. There you go. Not in my game. Not in my game. Dossier not as important as winning the league. Fair. Tony, I like it. We're going to sign Ivan Tony, I think. And Inacio. We did a big long talk for about an hour talking about whether we should, who we should sign. Decide on Karim Kanate. Then we all remember the rules that we can't actually, um, can't actually sign him. So we are where we are. Right, we've got a game. We are playing a Carabao Cup semi-final, by the way. We could actually go and win a um a trophy here. A couple of days ago, I found a video regarding FM player recruitment using Python. Quite a watch. Oh, interesting, Marvel. That's that's weird, but interesting. Just get Tonali to back Newcastle's next signing. Good. How are Saudi clubs on transfer window? Are they overpricing everyone? They've not signed any of my players, so at the moment, no is the answer. Right, let's do let's do this team. I really like his little negative uh, icon as, ne as global ban. Yeah, cheers. I'll be lurking as I've got something exciting to finish. You have actually, Tom. Yes, you do need to finish that. Get, get going. Come on. In draft last night, people had loads of great strikers. Top goal scorer, Bruno Enrique. Still the goat. He is. What a man. Right. Uh, goalkeeper, Nick Pope. I want to get that rest, but they won't accept any bids for him. Livermento right back. Is that because Trip is a bit tired? Fine. Share. Nianzu comes in. Botman needs a rest but can start. Dan Byrne left back terrifies me at complete wing back. So uh, Valentin Barco comes in even though he's a bit tired. Florentino Luis, Tonali, Guimarez. Where's Joel Linton? He's playing left wing apparently, which he's absolutely not going to be. Uh, we're going to get... Oh, it's... Savvy Bounds. And Isaac up front needs a rest. He's going to play though, I think, because we don't have another striker, do we? Miura can go on the bench for share. Why are we playing football? I thought this was a transfer stream. We're going to have to play one to progress past the day. I'm sorry. You can't sign rest as he's under 21. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to do it for the summer, so he joined in the summer. How's the fitness of Tony? At least match fitness is down to the bottom. Yeah, we'll get him back though. He doesn't need to be first choice because we've got Isaac. We'll get him back. Well, it's been asked already, but what time is the vid out later? 3 p.m. Uh, it's actually a good point because it's Saturday. As soon as it's ready. Uh, what time, what games have we got on? We need to just do it around the games. Wolves Newcastle is 
Could do 7 p.m. Then it's after the games. Might be tonight. Or it might just be when it's ready. It's a bit annoying when you do it on a weekend, but I will still want to do it, you know. It's great, I meant. Unique way to play using Python. Yeah, definitely sounds interesting. Sounds something I would like to explore. 7 p.m. is more likely. 7 p.m., Tom says. <laughs> It'll probably be just... Yeah, and we could do 7, and then it's just after, then soon as... Yeah, soon after. The vid is complex when it is. Yeah, there's quite a bit to do. I'm sorry, Tom. He's doing the Lord's work, though. Right. I kind of want to play some of our new players, but then none of them are available. Do you mandate international duty until Feb? Uh, Kangin Lee is on international duty until Feb. So we've just signed two players that aren't available, which is fun. And then a player that's got a global ban. <laughs> do you not rest players for two, three days between matches to avoid jadedness? Yeah, we do. I just haven't this time. We very often do. Uh, we've also got Lewis Hall who can't play until the summer, which is fun. And then I don't really like him anyway. Longsoft wanted by Wolves on an actual transfer. Uh, I think this is the team then. Let's do that. Do you want to do YouTube full time? Um, yes and no. Like it's very difficult to give up a, 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 a very secure job that I've been working for 10 years. To start doing little videos on the internet. But also the dream is to do little videos on the internet, isn't it? So, I've always said this, chat, and uh, I feel like we might be just getting closer to it. The, be the, the more the videos do, the better the videos do, etc., the closer we get to it. If I ever move away from London, which is like on our, on our list, like at some point we will, I think we'll try and do full time for a little bit in between. For example, if I'm going to have to leave my job that I'm at now and go and get another one, we could try in between that. And see how things go. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to go get a new job anyway. So we go get a new job. So I feel like that's the time to take the plunge and see how things go. Because I feel like I'd be good at it as well. Like, I, like the, 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 it's kind of like the schedule we've been on this week. But the streams will be a bit longer. You thinking of moving? Yeah, we are. Like, we, Kat wants to move to, well, I want to as well. I want to move somewhere where it's cheaper to live. Cat wants to move closer to her family. Cat's family are from Devon. Devon's a lovely part of the world. Like, we will at some point. You know, when you want to go and do, like, actual life things, etc., etc., then I think um, I, that is the plan. So anywhere that isn't London, exactly. It, to be honest, picking any places that's cheaper to live than London, Devon's, like, number two on that list, which is annoying. But still, Plymouth is lovely. I went to uni in Plymouth, Tom. I did four years of my life in Plymouth. It's a place very close to my heart. Don't want to go and live there, though. <laughs> Big up Devon, yeah. It is a bit far from Hereford. Devon's a bit far from absolutely everywhere, by the way. But it is lovely. Like, obviously, Kat's family's there. We go there all the time. I would be very happy there, for sure. We are 2-0 up, by the way. And if we can go and get a nice little house with a garden so that I can do my, my gardening, playing football manager all day... Yeah. Theoretically, aren't you big enough to quit your job now? Not where I am now, Fulham, no. Well, to be fair, we probably could, but also I, we'd have to then change all the way that we live our lives and things. Like, probably, because I don't make enough money from YouTube and Twitch now to quit my job. But if we were to scale up how many YouTube videos and how many, um, and how many streams we did, possibly... You know, also with sponsorships and things like that, possibly. However, there's also a wedding to pay for. There's also the next house move to pay for, etc., etc. It's kind of like it's a bit, it's a bit rough, yeah. So, so, so no is probably the answer, but also we're almost there. You know, I know a place better, Cav. I mean, I feel like I dropped. We, we planted the seed last weekend. <laughs> I can't planted the seed. Need to make the most of this weekend, Cav, and we'll see. We'll see. So close to perfection. Almost, almost. Yeah, get on the Patreon. That'll help. Uh, I meant to tell you, the Breakfast Club closed down. Did it? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Because there used to be just, like, queues and queues there, didn't there, Hutch? That's closing down is a bit shocking. I feel like I knew that. Or maybe, I, well, I definitely didn't know that, but I feel like I should have known that because I have been past there a few times. It's all ifs and buts with content creation. It absolutely is, exactly. Which is why, like, in my head, I'm like, 
I'm going to give myself the chance where I'm not taking a risk, which is if I move anyway and need to go to a new job, it's just delaying the new job rather than I'm not quitting my job for it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was always rammed, wasn't it? I guess maybe always rammed on the weekend and not so much during the week. Don't know. Six years ago, six years today since the Harvey Barnes equalizer, was it? That feels like a too long ago. Oh, it's an equalizer. Good tackle, Sven. Is that a bar? Uh, like a breakfast, like bar, cook, put place, restaurant, the breakfast club. <laughs> uh, we're going to get more friends for Lenny. I think one day, yeah. Probably not if, if we move, then probably. Not right now, though, I don't think. Uh, have you any, have you noticed a club you could say? It's not, yeah, it's not really a club though, is it? If you say it's a club, that gives it a different meaning completely. Um, have you noticed any save breaking bugs? No, not any save breaking bugs. Some little annoying ones, like the, um, Lewis Hall thing is annoying, but not save breaking, I wouldn't say. Let's do some substitutions. Danburn is going to play complete, complete wing back, which is going to be fun for everyone to see. Lacey's just glad to have squad numbers. What a dream it is to have squad numbers. Oh! <laughs> there was a breakfast pub next door, which seems to be open whenever it felt like. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. That's cool. What's the Lewis Hall bug? We can't play him, Smith. Because he played for Chelsea. I played in the real world game mode. So he joined on the actual day he joined. But before that, Chelsea decided to play him in a Premier League game. And now that means that he's ineligible for me all season. <laughs> which is a bit frustrating. Do you think they'll add the Tonali ban? I expect they will, yeah. Once it's confirmed, confirmed, etc., which I think it is now because Newcastle announced it, I imagine it'll be in there from, uh, oh, we scored again, from from the 6th of November, yeah. I feel like real world will be the most buggy of options because people will play the other two more. Not sure if they'll play the other two more. I think lots of people will play the real world mode. Definitely. The only bug I found is the club selling more season tickets than the stadium has seats. Really, Gachenko? I've not seen that one. I swear he was offside there. Wasn't that blue line on him? Either way, it doesn't matter. We're 4-0 up. Should be a nice away leg where we're going to be able to be nice and, uh, nice and ahead. Yeah, West Ham have it. Really? That's fun. I'll just play the regular one. Yeah, fair enough. You have 77 season, 77k season tickets for 62,000 seats stadium. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. I should check how many Newcastle have. You sold 90k season tickets at West Ham in 62k stadium. How weird. I don't. I, want, I expect that's been uh, brought up. Oh, we're going to get a red card. Bruno. Bruno just wanted a day off. He's got himself sent off. I've had quite a few red cards, actually. Let's move Andre over here. Let's do... Let's get Joey Dubs on. Let's get King Kazoo on. Here we go. Uh, won't go back where I played with updates anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, real world's good. Uh, mine was 77k as well. The most massive team in England. They are massive. That is true. I had uh, I had a player get mad at me for blocking his transfer when in re reality it failed his work permit. There's some really annoying player interaction things. We had that player team meeting. I don't know if I said player team meeting. We had that team meeting where they all got upset even though I just said, keep going lads, you're doing great. They went, how dare you criticize us? And told me they hated me and wanted me to, uh, to die. Which felt like an overreaction at the time. Still feels like one now. <laughs> yeah, player interactions. They've... We've had our first injury to a goalkeeper, everybody. We've had our first goalkeeper injury. It's a hand injury, which is important if you're a keeper. Gachenke, thank you for gifting a sub, buddy. I appreciate you. It's gone to Mr. Chaz. Thank you for gifting your third sub in the in the channel. What a guy. Uh, have I made all my subs? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I know there's only one plan for this. There's only one. There's only one solution for this problem. King Kazoo is in goal. <laughs> You've got... Added time to survive. <laughs> How tall is he? 5'10"? Tall enough. Tall enough. What's his goalkeeper rating? Does that show you that anymore? 
two. Good enough for me. He's literally five foot. That is five foot ten. Right. King Kazoo is our goalkeeper. Half a star in goal. How many minutes? Eight minutes? Are you taking the mickey, FM? What do you mean eight minutes? Right. Do you want to watch that? Should we watch? Let's put it at least on comprehensive. We'll watch how he goes. 99 minutes. <laughs> eight minutes added on. Are you joking? I should probably change this tactic a bit. We're down to nine men. Let's pop you in there. We're going to go with a very, very exciting. Oh, I hate this. I'm going to move you there for now and then move you back because that's just so annoying. We're going to go with this. You know what? We're going to go with this for the end here. Why have Africans been called up for the Cup of Nations before Liverpool's player? This isn't fair. Really? That's annoying. What a tactic. Okay. Comprehensive highlights. We've got an attack. It's Joey Dubs. To, to Harvey Barnes. It's an offside. Okay. Let's see. Will they get an opportunity? A lot of that time has just gone by, by the way. There he is. So this... Oh, I feel like I need to get a good screenshot of this, but you can't really see his name there. Look at him pointing. I need to get a screenshot. They're going to have a shot. They're going to have a shot. Are you ready? Are you ready? 99 minutes! Do you want to go behind the goal? King Kazu clean sheet, please. I'm, I'm just going to get a, a, a clean... Uh, a screenshot for Twitter. And then we'll find out if this goes in. Rankin Coste is about to take a shot. I mean, we could get an even better screenshot in a second if he saves this. What do you reckon? Do you predict it? Gachenko. Thank you. Paul, does he save it? Quickly, chat. Yes or no? Does he save it? We don't do a poll. Just yes. Oh, we could do a prediction. Should we do a really quick prediction? Quick. Can someone do it? Can someone do it? We could do a prediction and put channel points on it. <laughs> I kind of want to say this hits. It hits Dan Byrne. You can't. They printed his name on the goalie shirt really quickly, didn't they? Really quickly, indeed. All right, we can't do it. Yes or no? If he misses, that counts as a save. You're on mobile. All good. Let's slow down the speed. I think it hits Dan Byrne. People say yes. People say no. Ranking Costello. Saved! <laughs> he tipped it over! <laughs> This is why we this is why we're still in January. This is why we're still in January. Get me that screenshot. Get me that screenshot. We need to go even slower. What's the best screenshot? Is it that? <laughs> Off his I think it hit him in the head. I think it hit him in the head. Did this hit him in the face? No, nah, I think he tips it with his right hand. What a save, though. What a save. <laughs> There's your screenshot. He's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. Prime clates this. I, it really is, isn't it? It's silly. Why do these things always happen? Uh, <laughs> okay, they've got another corner. They still might score. We've kept it quite slow. Costello to whip it in. I'm expecting a big leaping King Kazoo save. Did you get your screenshot? I did, yeah. I've got it saved in, uh, it's open in my photo app. Will he, will we get another one? Headed away. Going to be headed back in. They've scored. That's less good from him. This positioning isn't as good. <laughs> Look at this dive. <laughs> Gets nowhere near it. And it's a header from there. <laughs> he's going to concede now he has yep yeah, they, they have scored yep yeah, fair enough poor guy just fell over yeah fair play to him right let's put this a bit faster 4-1 they've got 3 minutes to score 3 look at him poor guy I mean it's a header from there should he be, be should he be beaten from this point <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> it's really bad. There's actually, I was going to say there's another highlight, but we are on comprehensive, so it's understandable. If we blow it from here, by the way, that would be quite upsetting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Viewers blocked. Yeah, it, to be fair, obstructed view. It's not his fault. We've seen that he's capable of a save. We know this. He, uh, he hasn't kept the clean sheet. Here he is. Here he goes. Lovely. Lovely. Passes it out. Calm as you like. That's a high... Oh, ho, ho. if they shoot from this, I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to cross it. What do you reckon? Goal or no goal? He's passed it. Santiago. Right. What do you reckon? That looks like it's going top corner. But it could be a flying save. Goal or no goal. Santiago takes it from the edge of the box. That looks top bins to me. Slow-mo, ready? I hate it, but goal. Slow-mo. Here he goes. He's not getting there. I don't think he's getting there. I don't think he's getting there. <laughs> Come on, man. Who cares? Uh, ban! <laughs> uh, it might be going over, you know. We all care. Chat, tell me if you care. Come on. Yeah, good goal. Yeah, good goal. It just confirmed the goal. Did it actually? Fair enough. It said goal already. Nice. Brilliant. <laughs> it hasn't even gone in yet. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's actually a really good goal. He's not quite got there, though, has he? He's not quite got there. If I just, um... He's not... Yeah, um, that's the screenshot. That's the screenshot. Way better. Yeah, but to be fair, Pope doesn't actually save that, does he? That's the screenshot. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's conceded twice. There's still a minute to go. This isn't great from you, King Kazoo. It's a really nice goal. To be fair to you, that is a good goal. I've never cared more about anything. Thank you. Imagine being that much of an absolute bellend, by the way. Anyway, he's got nowhere near that. <clears throat> This is Harry Kane-esque. This is way worse than the Harry Kane. Okay, I was going to say, I keep saying more highlights. There's 10, 15 seconds to go. They actually might score again. Good tackle. Okay, they've got another free kick. He made a full dive and uh, moved to two inches. He kind of did, didn't he? Not Fleur. Thank you, buddy. Do you have the 100 mil strike already? No, we tried to sign a 20 mil striker and then realized we can't. We would have broken the rules. So now we're signing Ivan Tony. Leave rubbish. Well done. Well done, King Kazoo. Leave rubbish. Not for thank you for the 31 months. I appreciate you. This should be the end. He's managed to concede twice in added time. For Christ's sake. <laughs> non peasant, indeed. Indeed, non peasant. Chat, did you like the way I delivered that ban, by the way? Did you like that? I, it was a ban. <laughs> okay, well done. Well done, mate. Just the two conceded in added time. <laughs> Ruthless, enjoyed it. Quite quite enjoyed the moment. <laughs> right, 4-2 win. I'm glad that we still won that game because that would have been upsetting. Oh no. We need to sign a keeper. And then called him a bell end. It was beautiful. Thank you. Very Barry Scott-esque delivery. Thank you. That's how we ban everyone from now on, okay? Um He's broke his hand. Do we sign? Should we sign a goalkeeper? Muir, a number one keeper. Uh, pro possibly not going to happen. <clears throat> uh, let me do a tweet as well. If you're not in the stream right now, you're missing this. If you're not in the stream right now, you're missing scenes. Like this. <laughs> He's like doing a flying save in the screenshot. It's great. Why isn't Magic Sponge an option here? Yeah. Wait, I missed the ban. Yeah. Some said, come on, mate. Hurry up. Who cares? And I care. And I feel like that's quite important, isn't it? All uh, right. Nick Pope is out. He's going to... I think we're going to have to sign a keeper. And I can't sign Rest, which is who I want. So... Yeah, I hate fun. Just play the game and win the game. Hurry up, you... Anyway. Um, we're going to have to sign a keeper. 
because I don't want to play Dubravka. And I feel like we, like, should we try and sign Big Mama now? We could get Meslier, but I think he's very, very bad in real life. De Gea's gone to Sturm Graz Blitz. So, um, yeah, we can't get him. Lloris, mate, he's class, I promise. Don't look at the stats, just trust me. No. Big Mama, 44 to 63. New keeper. They're unprepared to sell him now. We'll expect to start. Could be the worst injury you ever get, Nick Pope, to be honest. <laughs> He's actually having a decent -ish keeper. What, Meslier? I, on, on FM, I meant. On FM. He's in the championship as well, but yeah. Um, Diego Costa. I've signed him too many times, Pinero. He is the, the real choice, by the way. He would be the guy to go for. However, I... Um, nah, I've signed him too many times. I signed him last year in this save. He's bad on FM. Who do you mean? You've signed him so many times. What, Diogo Costa? He was good for me last year, but he, he did have a dodgy moment in him, I will say. Or Meslier. Yeah, no. If, yeah, he's not great. Even though he's got great potential, he's, he is a bit dodgy. All right. We can do this where they want 44 to 67. This is 50. And I'll give you a big profit on him. Right, they want 68, which is quite a lot more than what I've just said I'm going to give you. <clears throat> Bergstrom from Chelsea develops at all? Not that I've noticed. I mean, I don't think it's developed yet because it's only the 9th of Jan. Uh, Trubin's great. Also, I mean, who did Steven just say there before? Lunin. Yeah, Lunin would be a good idea as well. That Croatian keeper, the main one's still good. Uh, Livakovic. Uh, I don't think he is as good, actually. How you doing, Lewis? Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're well, my friend. Um, is that too much? Yeah, FM Holiday is fast. Also moved IRL to Fenerbahce. Yeah, true. I think because we've got money and because I wanted him... Like, again, we're going to go back to the, to the dossier. Look at number one target for goalkeeper. Georgia, Big Mama, M Mama Dash Villy. I feel like now's the time to do it. We got the injury. Can we just do it? We've got the money for it. I think we do it. I love Big Mama. Me too. He wants 81 to 100k. First choice keeper, I think, is fine. 92k is not the worst, you know. If I put this up as well and put one of these in, we might be able to get him for 85. 88. Come on, you're being stubborn over 4k a week now. 88. Need a few of them back, Kakota. Can we get the big mummer uh, emote back? I mean, yeah. When is first showdown? I don't know. I don't know. Right, big mummer's coming in. In fact, big mummer is, he is old enough that we can sign him, right? He's 23. Yeah, okay, that's all good. We're ticking off some of our actual targets, which is quite nice. Let's just check how much we're spending. 130 million spent. Is that not... That's not all now, though, right? It's Tony 17, 20, 37. That includes the Lewis Hall, so I think we're fine if we take off the Lewis Hall. We're kind of kind of up there, though, to be fair. <clears throat> not even Zealand Shannon knows. And also, we're selling Fabian Share, which helps, too. Yeah, it's... In, oh, it's include. Oh, is that still including Ferguson? Oh, in, in which case... No. Oh, in which case, yeah, we're fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, I think we are fine, although that, has, that is still quite high up, but yeah. Uh, he signed for Liverpool. They could do Big Mama's Scouse. If, yeah, they could. They could. Uh, I like how it's him being stubborn over 4K and not you. That's really true. You make a really good point there. <laughs> uh, that's been a thing for ages. I know that's been a thing. I didn't realise he was still on there, was the, the thing. But also, it didn't go down that much even when I took that off, so... But it is still including Lewis Hall, which is the main thing. Right, we're selling Fabian Cher. <clears throat> he has gone. That saves more wages, though, which helps. Sniff the chair. Thank you very much for the four months. Yeah, peasant. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Sniff the chair. An outrage. He's, he's, he typed that in and thought, yeah, that's mint, that. That'll be my name. I'll get people to call me that on the internet. Sniff the chair. That's mint. 
<laughs> it is to be fair. Yeah, I'm not arguing. Okay, he still really wants to make the move, but he's not actually... He's not saying he's upset yet. <clears throat> uh, morning Beyond. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're good. Can we bring in one of our new players before Fulham, please? Tony would be nice. Although they can't play anyway. LaSalle's is moving. Oh, hello. If they make a bid of 75 mil, it's good by Joel Linton. Even though I like him. Sniffed the chair once. Gagged for hours. Yikes. Why have I read that out? Uh, like you've never had a mildly embarrassing online ID. Mm, yeah. Tricky Rich. <laughs> you can't sell Big Joe. For 75 million, I can. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yeah, no, he is good. For 75 million. Uh, late arrival. How you doing, Jack? Good morning to you. Hope you're well. Boy genius here, circa 2002 like that. What was everyone's MSN name? I suppose you have to be of a certain age. But what was everyone's MSN Addy? Remember that was a thing. What's your Addy? Yeah, Big Daddy Ham. That's so funny, isn't it? I like how he still owns it. Uh, I don't want to sign Jaden Sancho. <laughs> I'm not making Miura the vice captain. That's not happening. Who does become vice captain? Who actually put... I'm going to make Bruno it because at least he's going to play. Killer boy, Jesus. Uh, JB, that's all right, isn't it? Why not? He has great leadership. He's not going to play. That's the thing. Noah Arshavin, are you an Arsenal fan? Too old to remember. Nice. Mine had the name, uh, my name and 619 after Ray Mysterio. That's good. The dog called Mick. That was your MSN, Addy. Boy, round the corner was my MSN. That's hilarious. Rosicki 58. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Plucky 666, not the worst. I'm not an Arsenal fan, I was just a very big Arshavin fan when I was a kid. Fun. Buyaka Buyaka. What? That's not your name, not having that. It was 2006 with the cool name to have. Okay. I'll, I'll believe you. I'll believe you. Right, Ivan Tony is going to sign for 18 million now. However, he's still unavailable for another four days. That was a Ray Mysterio reference. Okay. Was it? I don't know that. I don't know what that means. I don't know who Ray Mysterio is. He's got a mask on, right? Uh, I'm not an... Oh, yeah, I've read that. I'm an Arsenal fan and I would take Rizitski 58 back in a second. Fair play. Fair play. Mine was Tricky Rich. At MSN. <laughs> really bad. Right. Um, do I need to register him? Yes, I do. Homegrown Nation is nice. Let's get Tony registered. Welcome to the club. What's his value like? Pretty solid. Will be very good for us, I'm sure. Is banned until the 16th. It's now the 12th. Uh, be training as that. Get Dan Burn to welcome you. Good stuff. Mine was I am Squa Squares. I am Squares. Uh, nickname was Squares because I ate the crisps once at school. It's weird how those things can cause an actual nickname. You ate some crisps. Brilliant. <laughs> I've realized what I was going wrong with, by the way, when I was criticizing training. I kept set about to set them a target, and I don't want to set them a target. How on earth are Chelsea lining that 11 up then? Uh, what 11? Are Chelsea the early game today? Oh, they are, aren't they? They play Brentford? At home to Brentford, though, right? Yeah, I will actually watch that, I think. But we'll probably go until one today because I feel like getting the full three hours in will be fun. Uh, you can go. That's fine. Any more transfers going to go through before this game? There'll only be Inacio. I don't think Big Mama's... Oh, that means the Bradford is going to have to play because I don't think Big Mama's going to go through before the deadline or before the game. In fact, it's today, so it won't. <clears throat> Chelsea have just um, brought in a new... Oh, it's going to be delayed. Oh, it's so annoying. It was so close. If he didn't need a work permit, we would have signed him. And he would have actually been able to play this game. But it's going to be tomorrow. If he gets his work permit for 21 million. That's cheap. Not going to sign him, but that's cheap. <clears throat> Mine was Puppy as I played for the local pub team when I was 15. Like, ridiculous. Not even a good nickname, is it? My teacher called me Chico instead of Nico. And that became my IRL nickname. Love it. 
Uh, I moved to a new city and everyone just called me the name of the city I came from. That's ridiculous. <laughs> when we had to read the To Kill a Mockingbird at school for GCSE English, a poor kid was named Faticus Finch. Wow. Unlucky. Best nicknames at your schools? Either for yourself or for somebody else. Bonus points if you have the reason for why they've been called that nickname. In the chat now. Right. Uh, Dubravka's going to have to play. Also no Bruno. Also no Almiron. Not ideal in any case, any of these things. But you on the bench. Uh, Chedwin Cuts is going to be on the bench. <clears throat> I should probably check if the other one is. And Lewis Miley. Is the under-21s goalkeeper available? Will Brown is. We put Will Brown on there instead, won't we? Right. Uh, let's see some of these. Lala. Uh, because the kid looked like a Teletubby. Excellent. People call me Ricketts because my knees are inverted, but I do not have Ricketts. Fair. Seamless one show segment. It is, isn't it? There's a girl at our school whose nickname was Whore. So we nicknamed Chastity. Yeah, okay. Uh, Milk because his hair was white. I've got a friend who came down to play football with, um, we're like, you know him actually, Harry Muskin. You've seen him in the chat before. Uh, I, he played football for my team when he came to visit once and they just called him Milky because he's got blonde hair. So he's still called Milky often. Mate called Frosty to this day because he wore a white woolly hat one day for one day. Love it. In the last few years, there's a social circle at my golf club that called me Veggie because I'm vegetarian. I'm a 35-year-old man who gets called Veggie by a group of 20-something year, year old lads. Like, it's mean, really, isn't it? A guy we, uh, a guy was called Proudfoot, so we called him Edward, Edward Shame Hands. Proudfoot Shame Hands, that's really quite good. Uh, a guy called Mash because his Matt couldn't pronounce Matt properly as a kid and it stuck forever. I knew a Mash who was also called Matt Simbo. Maybe it's the same one. Uh, we had a musty day and a kid had ping on his jumper and he farted in class and we called him Toot Toot. Clever. I was called Chapstick for no reason other than my name. My surname was Chapman or is Chapman. We had a kid called Jobling who scored free kicks from left back. So he got called Gilberto Carlos. That's quite a nice one, isn't it? <laughs> Gambling, but I do not have rickets. Is hilarious as well. I'm glad you picked up on that. That's really funny. Can you actually play the game? Oh, chat. Chat, are you ready? Together. We've got a message that says, can you actually play the game? You know what's about to happen, don't you? All together, please, in the chat. Ready? There should definitely be an emote for this. I want you all to say it. In fact, I'm going to lose it. Three, two, one. Burn! <laughs> if one of the mods stole that moment from me, then I was going to be livid, by the way. Livid. Uh, but you didn't. Thank you. I actually can't click off his name now, which is kind of annoying. How do I click off his... Oh, God. Uh, no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on his net. I can't read the chat because it's... Oh, I feel like this is his ultimate wit. Okay, I can just scroll it to the side. It's all good. Right, chap. You're gone. Get out. A uh, kid whose birth name was Ronaldo, but he was terrible at football. People called him Heskey. Nice. Yeah, the, the, the KSI Heskey era. Always good. Can I just like... How do I close... Ah, oh, I got it. We got rid of it. We're good. You're gone. Uh, skinny mate is now known as malnourished Anderson. Hilarious. I feel like people are new to the stream and they really don't understand the one show nature of this place. If you don't like it, don't come. As the bus driver who took me to school uh, most mornings had was actually ha as his uh, catchphrase. He used to he used to create rules for the bus and then in a very broad Herefordshire accent used to say, "Don't like it, don't come." Uh, he didn't spell it like that, Soika. No, he didn't. No, you've made it weird. You've made it really weird, actually. Right, let's also finish this team. Same words can be used for... Yeah, they can. Yeah, you're right, Albie, but come on, please. Right, Livermento for Trippier. Let's give Barco a rest and play Livermento left back. You really do need a rest, don't you? Sam Burns going to play. We are at home, at least, for these players that we're resting. Uh, nobody else is available. That's the team. Right. We are playing a game as people really like it. Very non-PG, at least make it clever with it. I know, right? I think there was even a sign that said in the bus, don't like it, don't come. Spout properly. Come on, get your minds out the gutter. Come on. We had a head of year at our school called Mr. Seaman. You can guess what his nickname was. Yep. Yeah. Don't like it, don't come. Here we go. Fulham at home. 
we're off and underway. Probably not going to play the whole game as comprehensive highlights. Even though it is us playing the game. So that person would be very happy. Hello, Tricky. How you doing, buddy? Please can go back to the banter instead of playing the game. Yeah, sorry. Some people hate it when we play the game. Hilarious that people are actually getting annoyed by how slowly we're playing it. Ah, makes me want to slow down, to be honest. Uh, David, was that his nickname, was it? Yeah, yeah. Of course, I imagine. Nothing weird, right? Full send. If mate had waited two minutes, he would have seen this. I know. I know. Where are we in the league? We're actually currently top. I don't expect to stay there, but maybe we will because Harvey Barnes has just scored and we're top of the league. Did United beat Chelsea 5-0? But if you're annoyed about it, just go watch someone else. Exactly, right? Otherwise, you just get yourself banned, which is fun. We had a PE teacher with the last name Fiddler. That's really not great, is it? If you go into the teaching profession with that as your name anyway, it's not great. Yeah, United beat Chelsea 5-0. Chelsea could get relegated. Annoyingly, they won a couple of games yesterday, didn't they? But imagine. I can get Evan Ferguson for 50 mil. Surely I'll do it. Yeah, do it. They are 13th on 26 points. We're top. City would go above us if they win their games in hand. Liverpool will go level with us if they win their game in hand. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Tricky. Any prediction for El Clasico? Uh, no prediction, but big game. Big game. Probably will, in my head, think, oh, I should watch that, then forget about it and then not watch it, which is what I usually do with games like that. Uh, can you put up Franco Gonzalez on your save, please? I did do earlier, Cough Lolly, but yeah, remind me after the match and I'm, I'll have a look at him. Uh, I also think about the entitlement, like coming in someone else's stream, basically demanding they act the way you want. I oh, know it's, it's rank, but it is always first time chatters. And I, I genuinely much better. We're all much better off without those people here, aren't we? Like, yeah, no is the answer. Mr. Bukok had enough of a bad time at ours. I can imagine that for sure. Yeah. Um, we had a, a teacher called Mr. Hayes around the time that the Hoosiers released Goodbye Mr. A. And then Mr. Hayes left at the end of the year and everyone sang Goodbye Mr. Hayes. And I felt like that was quite fun. I enjoyed that just as a thing that happened. <laughs> My daughter's school has a Mr. Bus. Imagine being late for class. Yeah, that's, that's funny. I wonder if it's the same guy from the comments. It probably is. The five foot five fella who cannot stand up properly because of the 20... Minus 23 balance. Yeah, that's the guy he's asking for. Yep. Uh, can you do a stream exactly how I how I want for me and only me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is 100 gifted subs and then yeah, then I'll play the game. <laughs> I just lurk a message once in a week in your stream. Fun to be fair. That's the way I always used to watch Twitch, by the way, Blitz. Like never would chat. Um, would just watch and then I didn't even realise like, I didn't really understand the whole culture of like chatting away in the chat at all, but as soon as you start doing it, you're like, well, I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. Yeah. I'll tell you what I love is when a first time chatter comes in and just says, look up this player. No, please. No, thank you. Not even a hello. Yeah. The answer is usually a swift no, thank you. I just say no, thank you. So I've not been in for a while. How did we end things end up with Worcester? We uh, got to the, we had some good seasons. We got to the Premier League. We had two seasons there. We're doing quite well. Ran out of time, basically. But Chucky did score in the Prem. So that's where we left it. I felt like that was a decent end anyway. So, yeah. Look up this player. <laughs> I'm here because it's chilled and the chat is class. The chat is unbelievable here, isn't it? Definitely carried by the chat and the vibes they bring this stream. For sure. <laughs> now nah, we have a good time. We have a good time. I normally just listen while playing FM. I think that's the thing with streams. I always, if I'm doing something like playing a game or playing FM or like doing a thumbnail, I'll put a stream on in the background. Like background noise is the way to go. Isaac scored from there, by the way. 16 for the season. Uh, Soika Fest. Yeah, after the game. Are you going to do a Worcester type save in 24? Yeah, Waken. The plan is to do a journeyman save. Start unemployed. Do a journeyman save where we do just change team. And try and get to the very top. Starting from the bottom in a journeyman. Which I think suits our way of playing the game. But we've never actually done it as a stream before. So it's just going to be quite run of the mill. We'll put some Easter eggs into the save, by the way. I also saw chat, Leone mainly. Did you see second yellow cards video about putting custom new gens into the game so that you basically use the editor to tweak which new gens to like 
spawn in the game, we could do a thing where if you are a Patreon member, you get a new gen that spawns randomly somewhere in the game. And actually that way we don't have to do new gen, re uh, new gen, um, new gen renames at all. I have to commend you, by the way. I'm far too impatient to be able to stream. I'd have to get have a go at folk all the time. I mean, you see it when it comes out, right? You see the moments where I just snap and have enough, I feel. But yeah, it's not great. You don't even need to use the editor for it. I haven't actually watched the video, but it's a great idea. I'm sure you could use the editor, but that's cool that you don't even need to. That's fun. Um, But we like to put little Easter eggs anyway, don't we? So yeah. But could we have the new gen renames to also have a... a yeah, I think so. For like silly ones when we could do the new gen renames but i think like if you want your player to actually spawn in the game somewhere as a new gen i think that's fun because he's a teacher clay doesn't get angry just disappointed exactly you don't snap often though like way less than you probably should yeah i try i don't think it's great like when you see people like properly snap it is exactly what the people who are or, or, who are doing those things want isn't it they're doing it in a funny way is way better than actually getting angry but yeah um YouTube comments get me the most because I'm like, I think it's because of how much work goes into those videos. And then they're like, you didn't do this exactly the way I wanted. And it's the, it is the entitlement that gets it, that gets me the most. I'm like, come on, like you have no, like, this is free for you to watch. I know I get revenue from it, but it's still free for you. And just, you're being an ass. Like, why do you have to be an ass? Like criticizing, like, like criticism doesn't need to be a negative thing, by the way. Like, constructive is a thing but people saying that bit was this is rubbish that blah 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 i'm like i've still spent like half a day doing that tom's edited it it's like loads of work's gone into it and you're just being an arsehole like you don't need to be a dickhead there's a rule for you don't be a dickhead yeah foxy sees the replies like some uh, if there's a funny reply in it you always gotta go for the funny reply haven't you uh we're two nil up so king kazoo can come on here why not because being an ass is their whole personality. They're just awful people. I think they are, aren't they? I think they are. They, 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 those people do exist, don't they? Make a new gem with all your cousins and friends and buy them in your team and win the league with them. That's a great idea. Cousins? Why cousins? <laughs> My son's head teacher is called Mr. Rimmer and it's awkward as he does always does a joke about it. Don't do that. Okay, not as a teacher. Uh, Digital, you said, have I ever snapped properly as a teacher? I actually haven't. I'm really not a, like, a, I'm a very chill teacher, to be honest. Just behavior management is always about high expectations and consistency. And then if they, like, it's very, like, you, you just, and then you just tell them, like, I don't, like, it's not, it, it's not made me angry, but you're getting this because you broke the rules, etc. you know? Uh, my commiseration to your better half. That was a good one, wasn't it? Got him. <laughs> one of those. If that joke is red dwarf based, then we're golden. What, the Rimmer one? Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, mate has learned his teach skills by managing the worst clubs in FM. Yeah, maybe that just applies. Like, if you can put up with the, the football manager match engine, you can put up with everything. <laughs> it all stems from jealousy. They want to be where you are, but haven't got the skill or personality, so the next best option is to be an ass. It kind of is. I think there's also a culture around it. Yeah, Dean, I think if you can remind yourself of that type of thing, it definitely helps you, um, like, put up with it. But also just like it's part of the culture, isn't it? People feel way too comfortable to go and do that type of thing. Like they'd never say something like that to somebody's face. But leaving it as a comment is basically saying it to somebody's face. And like that's why once you get to a certain stage, people don't even read the comments of their videos. And I, I know exactly why. But I want to be able to because I feel like that is how you connect to your audience. And that's where you know like what people like, etc. So like you should be able to, but also have a bit of like... I don't know, be nice. And I don't want it to be an echo chamber of like, this is amazing. If they don't think it's amazing, you can say, oh, I've, like, you can still appreciate that a lot of work has gone into it, can't you? Just mental. People are just mental. Um, I had a teacher who snapped to me when I was 13. My parents had just divorced and he knew and he shouted, no wonder your parents split, split up. That's rank. Like, that's the type of person who shouldn't be a teacher because they clearly don't like people like you know, i think at the very heart of it you need to like see the good input like that's just rank people can be anonymous on the internet if there was id checks media like twitter x would be so quiet yeah exactly it's the anonymity the culture around it and like but the neurological reaction to reading that one bad comment is so damning like it's 
like if you read about any of the studies of it like you're neurolo neurologically wired to react to that one comment and you can gloss over all of the nice ones which is also part of why the culture exists because the people leaving those comments are well aware of it aren't they one YouTuber I watched does a pin of shame so the worst commenter gets mocked by rational people. Could be counterproductive there. Yep, it kind of... I, I get it. It kind of... It kind of... Invites the pile on thing. It invites people to try and do that and stuff in the future. I think that's a good thing though, by the way. Feel free, chat. Like, you have my... You have my word here. If you see people being an arse in the comment section on YouTube, feel free to go at them and, and completely take them down. Because I do it, and it probably shouldn't be me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Comments are probably why I stopped YouTube if I was being true for Foxy. 100%. 100%. Um, that 1% got to me too much. What uh, At that point, I knew it wasn't my, my, my life. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, it's debilitating. When you read like one and you're like, I've really tried with this. Let the games begin. Uh, I want to sign Federico Redondo. If he's this cheap, I want to sign him. But we won't be able to do it until the end of the season, will we? I'm doing this to try and outbid Chelsea. Surely that's better than Chelsea's bid. Surely that's better. Let's see what they say. I really, I like the idea because he's quite, he's Redondo's son and he's really good in real life and he's 5 million. I want to get him as an option in our midfield, even to sell him in the future. Let's make a bid. I love YouTube vigilantes. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Did you ever think of stopping then? Uh, I've not thought of stopping, but for sure, like, it's just like demotivating. I Like knowing that you're going to do something that loads of people are going to really like, but that one person didn't. It's just like, I don't know. It is, it's demotivating. But then you have to, you have to train yourself. It is just training your brain to think about all of the other people and like, you get through it, don't you? But yeah, it's um, it's it's stupid the way that people feel like they can though. Everyone sing. Good check, Co. Gachenko, thank you for the five gifted. What a boy! What a bloke! Uh, Foxy's got one. Homer Bagpus. Croco, Croco, Crocos, and uh, Jake, you've been gifted a sub by Gachenko. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the gifted. Let me do some trends for you. Get him in the chat. <coughs> Excuse me. What's Shay Lacey like? Yeah, he looks really good. Really good potential as well on him. Uh, Foxy deserves a gifted. He does. He does. That's true. I've run social media accounts for local non league football teams, and most commented, commenters are just out for the wind up. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Feels like a musician letting a bad review from a newspaper outdo all the num the sales numbers. Yeah, for sure it is. Like you shouldn't let it get to you, but your brain is also wired in a way where it will always get to you, which it, it sucks really, doesn't it? Love the vibe in here. It's a good vibe. We've got a good vibe in here, definitely. Uh, sweeper keeper defend. That is right. Right, big mama's in. Do we give him an? Do we take the number one? I can't give him the number one. He wants thirteen, but I can't give him it. You don't have to have twelve. Uh, Foxy is a star, he is indeed. Uh, need to shoot post office, will BRB. Uh, I don't know why I've read that so weird, but yes, go to the post office. Redondo is too young, can't, you can't sign him now, can you change the date to summer? Already did it, it was, with, it was for the summer, look. My offer was for the end of the season. So I did actually think of that, which is good from me. I hope that bid's still in, it is, yeah. Uh, going postal, yeah. Nice, I missed that. Yeah, I know. I actually did think about it, which is weird for me, isn't it? Uh, Biff Dick. Biff It's a hard name to say. Biff. Uh, a journeyman. Unemployed. See where we go. See where we end up. All across Europe, maybe even further afar. And uh, see what happens. I've been always, I've always been skeptical about FM because it is basically against the computer and not online. Any thoughts? Should I not care? Um... It, don't care on like it's a different type of playing a game for sure i get like it's kind of like now if i played fifa i don't want to play fifa and play career mode 
because I want to play online, but I also don't want to play FM online. I'd rather play against the computer. So try, have a go with it. It's all about creating your own stories, I think, Football Manager. So lean into that and like, if that's your way of thinking of things and do that. Uh, Dean, this is real life. We did the real life one. I tried one of them, but I started in Sweden instead of unemployed in Graham Potter start. Yeah, 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 fair enough. I think we might, I, I'm not exactly sure where I start yet. But I think I might start unemployed. Why well, you don't want to play online? Not often though. I always promise myself I'll do a journeyman, but I always get to attach my wonder kids. That's what usually happens to me, but we're going to do it. Like you can hold me accountable that we have to move teams when we do that save for sure. Never thought the that playing offline would be the hang up. I know, yeah. Right, they want five mil. Yeah, that's fine. You can have six mil if he plays games. I think I want to sign him because I he was on my list of players I wanted anyway, I think. Right, we've signed Big Mama. New goalkeeper in. New striker in. New centre back signed. We're looking good. Um I'm hoping we can do this because he doesn't join until the summer. Breakthrough prospect. Like it still says the it still says this here. Unemployed journeyman the player. I think so as well, yeah. Uh, have you got a starter club? I think unemployed. I think so. Robinson, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, dude. Let's see if we can get you on a longer contract than that. Why do you only want two years? Let's try three and give you. Let's do that. Um, It still has the warning about not signing him. So I'm a bit worried that this will get cancelled. But if it gets cancelled... Cancel and he chooses us. It still might stop Chelsea signing him, which isn't the worst. Uh, I felt like that for years. Only ever play games online for genuine competition, but FM is a unique case where the rules don't apply. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's completely on it, like on its own. <laughs> when you start unemployed, what badges, player experience do you use? I think we'll go as low as possible. Like make that the the point, right? Let's have no badges, no playing experience. Sunday league player, no badges. And the challenge will be, can we get to the top starting at the very bottom? Right, reject. In fact, I could have done the loan. I should have done the loan. Oh, no. He's not signing anyway until Janu until the end of the season. So we don't need to do that. Right, Inacio said yes. He joins tomorrow. Okay. We sent some good people here. This is nice. Does someone remember the name of that talent from Schalke? Can't find him there. And they've not sold him. It's Uadrego. So O-U... A? How do you spell it? I think it's O U E. Might be yeah. There it is. <laughs> Copy and paste it from Demo there. This guy. Asan Uadreogo. I'd like to sign him. Let's see what money we've got left over, because he's one that I quite like to sign as well for the end of the season. Tom! You've gifted a sub! Thank you very much for gifting us up over to Reedy. What a man you are. And also, the video is done. Get in. Get it uploaded. And uh, I'll have a watch of it after the stream. And we'll choose what time we upload it. Probably after the football tonight, to be completely honest. But we'll see. Um, well in, Tom. Well done, Tom. What striker did you end up getting? We signed Ivan Tony. Not because he's the best one, but because he felt kind of realistic. And we wanted to sign Karim Kanate, but I can't because I've signed too many under-21 players. It's very fun. I really like it. I think it looks great, yeah. I can't wait to use Van Persie's son. Yeah, he's another one that we should maybe try and get as well. Yeah, we signed Tony Antonali. Just all the band betting players. There's like a betting ring going on in the... In the... <laughs> oh, no. United have... Made a bid for Redondo as well. This shows me he's probably quite good though. Maybe I should up his wages. Right, we'll get Inacio in for 20 mil now. I'm going now. Yeah, go on. <laughs> uh, the level on the players looks like last year's Bellingham. He does. He looks unreal, doesn't he? I might change this. Because he's not going to choose us otherwise, is he? Thirty K a week is a lot. The sweepstakes at Newcastle must be legendary. Yep. <laughs> right. Joel Linton, welcome him. Make sure he is registered. 
Panchala and Big Mama needs to be registered. Okay, we can actually play some new players in this game now. That's fun, isn't it? Having problems selling... Uh... Oh, selling Nick Powell. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, we did get Ivan Tony. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go, Johnny. We signed Ivan Tony. He's the one that we signed. How are these promises going? What there? I've told them that they need to get an average rating in training. Uh, where can I look to see what they're getting? Progress disappointed. Ah, so, oh, you see it on here. Look, that's nice. So Andre's only training at a 7.2. He hasn't trained. Kangin Lee hasn't trained yet. Like, that's basically a really high level to get, isn't it? So I quite like that as a target. They both accepted it in their contracts, which is fun. Like, basically train like a beast and you might be able to get a better squad status. Do they get demote? Like, does their morale drop if they don't reach their targets, though? Because it's almost like you, don't, you shouldn't use it if you if it does. You might need to think about that. Brighton signing Taliska is fun. That's a fun signing. I don't know what team to start with in the Prem when I get it. West Ham are fun. West Ham is, uh, look, look really fun. Brighton get loads of money to spend. Ferguson for 50 and Alvarez for 33, both listed. Wow. You're balling out, Tom. Taliska's been really good for me. Yeah, he looks great. He's been so good for ages, hasn't he? He's been great on FIFA for ages as well. Uh, it does. Even for the end of the goal, I think they can't make it. It seems like the mood drops. Really? I wonder if you try and avoid doing them then, which isn't great, is it? Uh, is that the Brazilian Andre? It is Jacob? Yes. It is. Right, we've got quite a tired team, but we do have some nice new recruits to bring in here. International duty for Barco. Until the 26th. That's annoying. Um, are you knackered as well? Right, Ivan Tony starts. Doesn't have the match sharpness, but he's going to start. Being class back up for Messi and Sancho. Nice. Tonali's tied to Trippier. Who plays left back here? I guess Livermento has to. Let's bring Botman. Do you know what? Inacio starts. Botman or Inacio? He's new and shiny. Kind of want to play him. Where is Joel Linton? No, Bruno, sorry, is the person I'm looking for. Um, Let's put him on the bench at least. Tips on what role? I don't actually know what his best role is. I quite like him just this DM, but I haven't started him yet, to be honest. Your bench is a mess. It's because the quick pick picks it in this order. So then I have to fix it afterwards. I'm going to fix it now. But that's an annoying thing that they should change. Like when you do a quick pick, it should be in order of positions. Is that better for you? A bit further forward. Was Tony the 100 mil striker? Uh, yeah, we ended up not paying 100 mil. Another good save is Chelsea with your world mode. Yeah, that's fun as well. Yeah. Sorted by position, please. No, cheesy. I couldn't agree more, but blame quick pick. All right. Right. Diamande's still out. Debravka on the bench. Uh, Almiron's very tired. That'll be the main feature of FN25. <laughs> good. Is Almiron more tired than those guys? He kind of is. We've got Izak on the bench. He could play wide, couldn't he? Um, yeah, nah. In my head, and it's a weird one, I, mine goes left back before right back, even though I know it's not weird. I always have to adjust it. I think it's because when I was, when I write a team out, I go like that. Maybe because the way my brain is wired, like I go to the left first, even though it's always right, isn't it? Like one, two, three, four, five, etc. You get Diamande and Anasio, you have to pair them with Quates on a back three. I know. That's a crime. I, I, I know. I'm saying that. I'm agreeing. I'm just saying it's the way my brain works. But actually, I think it's because we write from left to right. It's weird that we... Re yeah. Lynch, it's because we read from left to right. Like, I think this... Obviously, in a football sense, this is the way it goes. But I don't know why it ever went like that. Because you're British, innit? Yeah. Like, it's weird that that went from there. We drive on the left. We, we write from left to right. It's weird that we went... Uh, right back first. But yeah. Uh, Bruno should start, shouldn't he? Especially because Tonali's a bit tired. Let's do that. 
We are playing. Oh, this is the FA Cup game. Oh, bloody hell. Change the team up. What am I doing? I thought it was a league game. Stop. Andre starts. Time to have a go. Uh, Inacio Nianzu can be the starters. That's fine. Don't have anyone to play left back. Anderson, bring him in. Change to ma next match only. I actually, I will from here. Good point. Good idea. Never use that, even though I should. That means Bruno can probably stay out and put Joey, uh, Joey Dubs in. Also, we go to the right for number two, then skip two positional slots to number three. Never understood. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Doesn't make any sense. A right-handed person must have come up with it. Yeah, that's maybe true. The old champ man's would left first. Were they, Ryan? Maybe that's where my habit was established. I don't know what. It actually might be, right? Like, I think it might have been. Like, that's where I picked it up from, maybe. Even though it, it could be the left-to-right thing. It could be that. Miles is Arabic, I guess. I guess so. But I think it's more football is Arabic <laughs> because we go right back to number two, don't we? They were, weren't they? They definitely were. I think that's actually where my habit is, is from. I'm almost sure of it. Right. Miura can be on, the, be on the bench for this then. If it is, we're already leading, aren't we? But we'll be Arabic in a few years. Saudi's on top. <laughs> it was both fullbacks then CBs. Yeah. Yeah. Left back, right back, CB, CB, yeah. Um, I would go Danburn, but I want to play our new players. Let's play John Longstaff as well. Give him a little run out. Right, that's the team. Two new numbers. Ivan Tony gets number number nine. Is it a crime to spend 80 million on Saka's play on left back? No, I love it. You default that way too every time. I think you solved it. I think that's why. In my head, I told myself it's because of the left-right thing, but I think it is actually champ man. It's even less, like, real-life normal. Uh, should we give him number nine? Or are we going to sign a new nine at some point? It's quite juicy, isn't it, Huddy? I agree. Oh, I've given up. Yeah, that's it. Uh, do you know what? Take the number Take the number five, Inacio. Why not? We'll give Diamande number six as well. 80, I've given him nine. I don't know what he used. What did he wear when he was at Newcastle? What was his shirt number there? We could have given him that, couldn't we? You reckon he scores on his debut? Ivan Tony debut. Well, second debut for Newcastle. Does he score? Can you get the game face for free? The game face. The face is in the game, you mean, Buller? Because yes, it is free. Odds on Tony. Good. Odds on. Probably bet on it. Good stuff. Uh, they've actually got a highlight to start with. Uh, let me pop this up one. There we go. Inacio's racing away. Look at our centre-back. My centre-back. Anthony Gord, he's given it away. Jesus, he's whipped that back to the keeper, didn't he? You will never love me again. If you, there you go. There's the, that's the face back I use, uh, Buller. Elliot Anderson scores. Uh, had to go when, uh, King Kazoo was in goal. Did I miss anything? Uh, not sure, actually. Not really. We had a nice, we had a good real life chat actually about the uh, the psychology of YouTube comments. That was a good chat. I'm not sure about anything else really. Foxy went to the post office. Um, what else happened? <laughs> My fave centre back scored a hat trick last week. Nice. Nianzi scored a hat trick in this save. All from set pieces. Right, Inacio. He looks good, doesn't he? Creator Tony debut goal. Offside. He might be on. Uh, Isaac and Wilson not working out. Isaac injured and Wilson sold. It is disallowed. It was disallowed. Uh, Tony was number 36, was he? Fair enough. He's just offside, is Ivan Tony. Denied a second debut goal. It was a good goal, wasn't it? He put a fiver on, <laughs> on uh, four offsides. Great. Gordon. Tony. Tripped. Is Trippier, Andre, Joey Dubs, Anderson, 2-0. That's a beauty of a goal, by the way. Beauty. We've got 30 mil just straight money for uh, Wilson. Truce, which at 31 years old, I decided to take. He's also available for like three games. Otherwise, he was injured. That's a lovely goal. I particularly like whoever this is here. Longstaff. Sean Longstaff lets this run through his legs look. Love that. Very Harvey Elliott against uh, Brighton. Imagine so, like Tony, he'll just be unavailable for 
to use for that time. Oh, Tonali, yeah. Yeah, I think Tonali will be in the game. He'll just be banned. It'll just be like a global ban for him. Gordon for three. Is he on? They're going to check this one as well. Long stop becoming a ball liar. He kind of is, isn't he? He's doing very well. Doing very well. This one is also disallowed. He did look offside that one, actually. You know what? Uh, I can't actually shout. Tracy. <laughs> Longstaff has really hacked him there, but it wasn't a foul. It looked like it might be a foul. I'm, I won't lie to you. Andre. Gordon. Tony's in the middle. Cleared. Yeah, it'll be the same as, as Tony, I think. As uh, Tonali. Anderson, over. This is a tune. F1. The F1 tune. We come together. Running on the sunlight. Pen ref? Ooh. Right. Yeah, the old F1 tune. We've got a choice. Ivan Tony can take it. Or we can sub on Miura. <laughs> I think I Ivan Tony's going to take it. I think, let's be realistic. Ivan Tony's going to take it. Give him a chance at his first goal. Oh, is Anderson for the hat trick? Anderson is on the hat trick. I don't know if I want to give it... Uh, you don't actually have... Do you not have the option to choose whether they take it for their hat trick anymore? Do you, like, usually you have the option here, right? Is that not a thing in this year's game? You do it in the tactics page. I can't actually get to the tactics page unless this is it. Where do I do it? These are corners. Not in the game. Interesting. So I guess we'll just let Elliot Anderson take it here then. It's not on pen like on penalties. It wasn't there. You mean tactics page? We're not in a match. Yeah. I guess we'll we'll let we'll let whatever happens here then. Elliot Anderson hat trick. I don't hate it. It's a good finish. In the pen stab there. Yeah, makes sense. Isn't it also given to hat-trick players? It is. But there is a... Last year on that page I went to, on the where you select the penalty taker, you there was a tick box to decide whether you wanted the a player on two goals to take it or not. If you didn't give it to Anderson, I'd be fuming. Okay, fair. He scored his hat-trick. First half hat-trick from Elliot Anderson. There's also new options, one of which is odd. Is there, Chi? Let's have a look at that then. I'll have a look at that afterwards. Trippier, free kick, over. Why's that up? Got me on the spotlight. Uh, Kieran Trippier looks like he's given everything he has. It's the 43rd minute, Kieran. What do you mean? Tony's not scored. Can you do the little pass? Can you? If so, but yeah, we're doing that. I want to be nosy after my next match. Yeah, I've, I've said, we will have a look though, chat. Don't worry. I've noticed pressing this year is so brutal on injuries and fitness. I mean, last year I think it was as well. And it is kind of realistic, but yeah. It is. Lots of injuries in the beta. There always is, though. Every year, new game, injuries are a little bit over the top. I think they're trying to find the realism, which is a lot of injuries. But then people complain about it and they tone it down a little bit for full release. Seems to be the cycle we go on every single year, though. I wonder if it's something they want to have more of to make you do more managing, having lots of injuries. But yeah. Wasn't the pass from the pen banned? I don't think so, no. We had someone try it this year, didn't we? Um, Icardi missed one in Turkey with it, no? Just because I noticed something odd happening with my pen takers, I had to investigate. Okay, yeah, Icardi with Galatasaray, they did it and messed it up. Uh, we'll get Sven Botman on to play left back. We'll get Anthony Gordon off for Harvey Bands. Lewis Miley's going to play as well. You thought it was off to Arsenal's. I mean, that was a disgrace, wasn't it? But it's not banned, I don't think, no. The Pen Takers has three checkboxes now. Interesting. Nyanzu off the line. Let's have a look after the, after the game. Livramento. Botman deflected corner. Dan Burns sat on the bench asking, am I invisible? Yeah. Just, just think he's a bit rubbish. <laughs> We've got Inacio now. He's shiny and new. Also, we play a complete wing back, to be fair. That's why I'm playing Botman at left back. 
just because that like Danburn sprinting up and down the left is probably not what we need. You're playing crew, yeah. But I'm the manager. That's the thing. Livramento, Willock. Joey Dub saved. That was a quick highlight. What just happened? We got a corner and then suddenly that was happening. Uh, we actually are 3-0 up. We could get Miura on. I'm giving Tony as much of a chance to score his first goal as possible. Tony! Oh, that was the chance. Nearly. My assistant just suggested subbing Sancho off with a potential broken foot. Whilst the highlight shows him scoring, he's not got an injury. Interesting. Tony! Gone back to Andre. Right. Half an hour of King Kazoo. Would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Good bit of fitness for Ivan Tony. King Kazoo comes on. The Chi. Dan Burns coming on too. There we go. Uh, still can't believe Lingard's wage demands were too much for Saudi. Mad, isn't it? He was like, I'll, I'll go to Saudi, but I'm really going to make loads of money. And tried to push it. Fair play to him. But yeah, also quite greedy. Watman and Byrne looking at each other now and just shrugging. I think who's likely to play as, as a complete wing back? I think Botman's more likely to play as a complete wing back than Dan Byrne. Uh, Lingard will be playing for Stockport County or Wrexham or Notts County next season. Yeah. I don't know what movie gets now, really. Yeah. We're giving away a pen. Andre, mate. Don't give away a penalty. I love, like, people love to give you suggestions on who to sign. 96 comments when I asked for which striker to sign. People love it, don't they? Love it. <laughs> um, This game is going to be a bit of a cakewalk. Seven minutes. Can we get a, a, a Miura goal? Lewis Miley might get a goal. That'd be fun. Nope. Been tackled. Okay. Miura still hasn't scored, by the way. He missed the penalty. Lewis Miley is not a big man. And he's just scored. He's not even a man. He's not a big boy. And he's just scored a header. I've heard this guy called uh, Mbappe is okay. Yeah. 96 suggestions and you never looked at mine and signed a fraud. Yeah, fair. I've heard this guy called, called Mbappe. Was, yeah. I'm not sure he's, a, he's available yet, is he? He just got offered 55 million for a player who has never played a game for me. Got him on a free loan. Uh, on a free. Loaned him out. His name is Isaac... Babadi. Okay. You don't know that. Lewis Miley is six foot two. No, he's six foot one, actually, so we're both wrong. Uh, Babadi is a wonder kid. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Anybody getting a bug where VAR pops up first before other pop ups? No. Not sure we've had any issues with VAR, have we? We've won 4 1, by the way. We are into the final of the Carabao Cup. A chance at silverware in our first season. That's fun, isn't it? Oh, that... Oh, sorry. I thought that's not true. We're into the fourth round of the FA Cup. For some reason, I thought that was our second leg of the Carabao Cup. We're into the fourth round of the Cup. Uh, also, we should make it to the final of the Carabao Cup. We've got Blackburn next. It's our next game look. If I haven't seen any bugs apart from visualizer uh, resetting, it's not been loads. No, it's, it's very polished for what is supposedly... Early access slash beta. Very polished. It's good. Uh, peep the new pen tab. Yes. <clears throat> Penalties. Oh, that is fun. You can now allow the player who has scored two goals to take the penalty. You can change the play the taker if players already taken a penalty. You can change the taker if they've already missed the penalty. All very valid. That is a nice update. Not something I'd noticed before. Well done, Chief, for pointing it out. That middle one is the odd one. Change player if you've... Well, it's not really. Is it an odd one? Don't tick the middle one. Like, I guess having it ticked is weird. I think if they've taken... I guess, like, if you've taken one, like, because the keeper knows where they choose to go, like, 
it is a thing. Like, I remember, was it Gerard took three in a match? And I was like, he's definitely, like, he scored two and then was definitely going to miss the last one because, like, it becomes quite obvious. <laughs> Change taker of players already taken a penalty. Um, I don't think I'm going to tick it, though. I think I'd let them t keep taking it, but I, I see why it's there still. Uh, Oyathabal forever misses for me with 19 pens, yeah. What's his, like, finishing and composure, though? Is that why? Change taker of players already missed the penalty, I think makes sense. Molby got a hat-trick of pens. He did, didn't he? I think Gerard might have even scored, like, the rebound or something, though. Yeah, they're both good. I think they're both, um, they're both valid in their own right. Yeah, I guess it would move to the next person in the list. Yeah. One of those doesn't hurt options to have, but it's just odd for me. Yeah, I see what you mean. Right, Inacio, let's announce him, even though he just played a game. He's now being unveiled. Good stuff. Do we need or do we want to sign somebody else? To be fair, I think Gerard was going for the hat trick of pens in that match. He was, yeah. I'm going to try and sign Redondo. That was a quick press conference, wasn't it? Is there anybody else from our list that I should try and sign now? Bear in mind, I cannot sign people who are under 21. Tell you who I want to sign now. I think it may be too much. Slash, I think he's less than 21. I want to try and sign. Where is he? Why just, is that, what's his name? It's something like this, but I can't remember his exact name. Stephen, help me. Right back. What's his name? Not Nigel. Kaya, and that's it. That's who I'm thinking of. I want to sign... Um, Coyote. Starts with an M. Michael Coyote, that's him. Why is he not on my list? For wingbacks. Surely he should be. I think he'd cost too much, and he is less than 19. So I think he's going to have to be a summer one. But I would like to sign him. We can't sign him now, Huddy, because I've signed already six under 21 players and you have a limit of six to be able to sign. But I think he becomes one of the best right backs on the game. Grimaldo is very good over 21. Yeah, Grimaldo is really good. I don't know if I... Maybe we should sign a left back. 28 though, isn't he? So I'm signing with SVP and rest. Yeah. You look at Sam Curtis. Sam Curtis looked excellent. Excellent, Darwin. He was in our um I did a video of bargains and Sam Curtis was one. I don't know if I've got the Irish League loaded. I oh he's on there anyway. Excellent signing for less than a million, by the way. Very cheap and only 18. But can I buy FM24 for the cheapest? I don't know if it's exactly the cheapest, but you can get it for 35 pounds. Um ah, ha, 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 Using my code there, look, which is in the chat. Yeah, Grimaldo's like a left mid would be good. Colin the Caterpillar's elite. I think they're a bit... I think they're a bit overhyped. I, 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 th I don't know if they are elite. I think they're a bit over... Oh, Sasha Bow is a great signing for them. 19 mil as well. I think the cake isn't that nice cake. But also, in terms of pure nostalgia, yeah, they're great. National Chocolate Day, you need to get something fair. Fair, fair, fair. I hadn't read the comment maker uh, there and thought you had a breakdown. No, no, no. His name was Ahahaha. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't just having a weird laugh halfway through my sentence. Like I'm AI. <laughs> uh, can you hurry up and... Oh, shut up. Go back to the time I made my own and the face was horrendous. I remember. Horrifying. I Walker Peters can go left back and right back. He can. He's a bit rubbish, though. Slash, I just don't want to sign him. Being the main reason. Uh, what do you mean? You're considering your future, are you? As if you're not stealing a living already. What do you... No, I'm not having you kicking up a fuss. King Kazoo. Uh, for those who weren't around at the time. Look at Leone's terrifying Colin, <laughs> Colin the Caterpillar. Look at the face. I feel like you've not put loads of effort into the face. I'm putting it on the screen. 
I'm putting it on the screen. If I have to live this, everyone has to live this. I feel like the effort gone into the face there wasn't necessarily the most. It looks really tasty, but... That's just two, three blobs and then a little line. <laughs> New emote of just the face. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hurry up and play the game. I stand by it. Leone, you've clearly made some really delicious looking things. I don't think that was your best work. The, face, the, the decoration of the face, that's all. Went for a rustic look, yeah. Did you get a bit bored of making it by that point? <laughs> uh, right. Question. Let's have. A, let's consult my list. Am I signing anyone else from this full list before the end of this window, which is in ten days' time? Ferdi Kaglioglu would be a great right back. Just in the list, wanted by Real Madrid. But I think uh, Coyote would be my guy from this list. Uh, he's unreal. What? Kadioglu? Yeah. Gertrude is great. Could play centre-back as well. I don't... I think left-back might be more important than right-back. Nets is very cheap. I just feel like I've signed him too many times. Or he's been around for too long. And we can play Botman left-back. We can play Inacio left-back if we need. I can remove Bowie now because he's at City. I don't know if we've got a real backup for... I guess, like, just playing Liveramento left-back, though, is not the worst thing. Should I try and sign Coyote now? I can't, can I? He's 19. Unless I do, like, a... end-of-season thing. Which is first? End-of-season here is 11th of June. 1st of July. That's better that way. Here, true to fun to say, too. True. I can remove Bowie, he says, with this song was confusing. That's actually true. Weird. Weird. Odd how that happens, isn't it? End of season works for under 21s, does it? Okay. Like, I'm going to do it on the later date just because... To make sure, but that's good to know. Because I did sign... We are signing uh, uh, Redondo with that as part of it. I haven't actually asked this person yet. 32 to 48... He is, he does want to join. If you sign seven, though, a random one gets cancelled, not always the latest one. Oh, for end of season, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rafa on a free, that's a really good signing. Totally didn't find out and lose the best one, the kid. Yeah, we kind of had it before. You know what? We're not far away here for what I think is going to be our our right back forever. Put these up slightly. We're not that far away. How much it was the board gave you as an extra funds for January? 99 million Gachenko they gave us. I'm doing that. End of season signing. KO day. Get him done. You might as well use the money now and hopefully get more money in the summer. Uh, why we've been enough Liveramento, he's like 21. We're not bidding him off. We just don't have enough. If he's covering left back as well, we don't have enough players. We're just signing another player. Don't worry. <laughs> and this guy will be better than Liveramento as well. But we're keeping Liveramento also because he's homegrown nation, isn't he? 99 million! Yeah! <laughs> okay, Alneni to PSV is happening apparently. We've got two more cup games coming up. Blackburn away, which we can rotate in, which is nice. We've still got these players on international duty, though. Like, Kangin Lee is just never going to play for us, is he? Uh, chat turned into the I'm worried you're signing someone in my position on Tino's behalf. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Just got really concerned for him for a second there. <laughs> All right. Uh, new intermediary suggestion. Friend drop. No, thank you. Oh. Redondo's going to Manchester United. Can I change this? Nope. 
He's going back to United to ask for more money. So we're going to miss out on Redondo, which is a bit annoying. But if United were going to buy him, they were going to buy him anyway, weren't they? So we are where we are. I feel like I need to redeem myself in chat's eyes. Okay. Leonie would like to redeem herself for her, uh, her baking creations by showing you this cake here, which does look really nice. Okay. Fair play. You've, you're redeemed. You're fine. You're forgiven for the, for the terrifying face. I <laughs> uh, thought it was only one game versus same nation if five clubs and they're playing Tottenham. What? In my save, Liverpool played United and City in the Champions League league phase. I think there was a bug around that or it became like, or they've changed the rules. Okay, they're actually going to sign him. Um, deliberated greatly before accepting United is a very close call for him. He doesn't think he will get the playing time he is looking for at Newcastle. What? I feel like we did give him the playing time. But you think you're going to get it at United? That's odd. No way they let you play three English clubs out of eight games, though. No, that seems weird. That seems like a bug, yeah. Get it reported. All right. Let's go and play Blackburn. I think the rules did change, but that feels like too many, though, no? He's a great baker. That looks professionally made. See, look, you've redeemed yourself. <laughs> all right we've got a bid here as well uh long staff loan bid i'm gonna reject it i want to keep him around coyote's already agreed a deal for us as well by the way that's cool i know we don't get him till the end of the season but that's good to get that one done i think he's going to be great if it's british clubs i think you can but english you can't yeah makes sense what's your plan for the main save journeyman i feel like we need a can we get a command set up for um what the main save's going to be, chat? Um, I say chat, Leone. <laughs> At some point. I mean, what does he have in front of him in Manchester United midfield? Yeah, I guess they are rubbish, aren't they? Oh yeah, I forgot my Easter eggs list is almost complete. Did you hear the part, Leone, where we talked about adding the people we want to add to the save, adding them as new gens that will spawn in into the game? Because we can, that you can do that. I feel like that can make it really fun. So they will come into the game at some point anyway, but just not necessary from the start. I don't think she was here for that bit, no. Um, SYC made a video of how you do it. I feel like we should do that. Playing they just got a bicey for you against you, nice. <laughs> What's got a bicey in game for you? Yeah, yeah. They um uh, one of the updates last year, they upped to the the rate that that happened at. Cool update. Yeah, players will score bicycle kicks every now and then now. All right, Big Mama. Big Mama. Okay, still injured. Big Mama, Trippy, and the Anzu Botman, Livramento. Where is Barco? Still struggling. International duty. Livramento, left wing back. Fine. Botman and the Anzu. That means Inacio goes to the bench. Fine. Where's the clip of the bicycle kick? Yeah, who was it who scored one? Who was our big guy called? Our six foot seven striker? Six foot six. Callum Allen? Was that even his name? Was that the weird name that where I always got it wrong? I think I can't remember. Him though. He scored a bicycle kick, didn't he? Yeah. Um, hey Jabaru, how are you doing, buddy? You got gifted a sub earlier. You lucky devil. Uh Bruno Tonali, Joel Linton. Yeah, fine. Luis on the bench, Andre on the bench, fine. Almron Barnes, Isaac. Isaac up top, Tony on the bench. Callum Charlie Allen, that's him. That's his name. Right, let's move this around before someone has an aneurysm. Uh, defenders first. That's sort of sort of okay now. All right, I think we're all right. If King Kazoo scores this game, I will give two subs. Bit late, so I've not even put him on the bench. So there we go. <clears throat> Your money is safe. Am I a bad person for not sorting the bench like that? Yes. The worst type of person. I just put it however. Yeah, I um it depends how quickly I'm playing, but yeah. Next game. Okay. Okay. Uh Jabaru's paid pay put forward it on. Paid it forward. That's it. Thank you, Jabaru. I'll pay it forward. What a guy you are. You've gifted a sub to King Kazoo. Hopefully, King Kazoo pays it forward now as Miggy Almeron scores a lovely goal. Appreciate it. You are correct. I am on the wrong scene. There we go. Always put the keeper as the last sub. Really? No, first sub. 
Keep us first sub, no? This is nice from Almiron. Cuts inside like Sadio Mane on his Liverpool debut against Arsenal. Sort of. Uh, yeah, let me do some of those as well. Have some gifted sub emotes. You think Keeper is fourth sub? You guys are mental. You guys have Keepers on the bench. Oh, man eater. This year, yes. Yes. No, no, no. Rafa, you. You're, we've already today. In fact, I'm going to show you. Already today, you think you're wasting a, a position on the on the bench. Already today. Where is it? Look at who ended up in goal here. Nick Pope off. King Kazoo ended up in goal in today's stream. Otherwise, last year and forever, never have a keeper on the bench. There's no point. This year, keepers will get injured and you will need to sub them. It happens. Way more often than you think as well. This year, have a keeper on the bench. Uh, no keeper and then whoever you put on as first sub has to go and go. I mean, that is one way of doing it, yeah. Neil Warnock is fuming, I know. Yeah, that's a lovely goal, by the way. It's 5-3 on aggregate. We're having a right old ding-dong battle with Blackburn Rovers in the Carabao Cup. Annoyingly, this is because we had King Kazoo in goal, where... He conceded two in added time after that. Not his banner's now official, it is, yes. And will be in the game, I am sure. Football happened. Oh, yeah, by the way, please remember, if there is goals in the real-life football, don't spoil it for everyone who might be watching on, like, an app or on a slight delay because of a stream. Um, if you have to say something, say football happened as we score, and Callum Britton scores an own goal. I'm actually going to get that game on now on my phone. Beyond just spoiled my watching of Schalke. Get him gone. Yeah, true. Unless it's Schalke you're watching, in which case, spoil it all you want, because no one's watching that. <laughs> okay. Chelsea Brentford. A stream, you say, eh? Yeah, a stream like, you know, Discovery Plus. Nothing illegal. Nothing, 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 you know, nothing uh, criminal. <laughs> Uh, good to know. Have to keep it in mind when I eventually start playing this year's version. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Manita. Otherwise, you're quite right. In the past, don't worry about keepers on the bench. But this year, yeah. Good save. FBI can leave chat now. Yep, off you go. Run along. Run along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> right, we're 2-1 up. Harvey Barnes might add another lovely effort on the volley. It's it flush, but wide. Probably should have taken a touch. <laughs> Why would the FBI be worried with this anyway? That's true. Not sure the FBI is the one who is investigating that, but yes. I normally hate having keepers on the bench. Me too. Can you pick me a random team to use on the beta, please? Uh, random, you say. Hereford. There you go. <clears throat> Been months since Shark have had a lead. Fair. Do you think Everton will survive the point deduction? Um, I really think... I. I I've, well, shock. You're welcome. Uh, I can't... These things don't usually become immediately implemented, do they? I imagine there's a lot of legal back and forth to be going on that... For some... I can't see Everton being hit with the deduction this year. If they were, I think it'd be a real struggle. But it also might be the year that they could survive with a points deduction. Can't see them surviving even without it. I can. I think Burnley are worse. I think Sheffield United are worse. I think Luton are worse. I think arguably Bournemouth are worse. Which, when you've got teams that are worse than you, it gives you a chance, doesn't it? I don't think they're good, by the way. They were, I thought they were rotten at, at Liverpool. Like, didn't try and win the game at all at any point. Uh, there's, no way they give, there's no way they give Everton 12 points this season when City's been going on for a year. Yeah. But then it never came out about the points deduction or anything for City. But also, their lawyers are ridiculous, aren't they? So, yeah. Um, right. We're 3-1 up. I didn't actually even see who scored the third goal. Harvey Bonds? I think it was, yeah. Let's do subs for the second half. Livermento's not playing great, but can probably stay on. Let's do Andre on. Let's do Ivan Tony on. Let's do Florentino on. I'll do it that way around. Let's do Inacio on. All the new boys. 
Give them a little run out. I think the league's getting worse each year. I think it just turns out that this year there's like a bit of a there was a bit of a gap between the Prem and the Championship this year. In a weird sort of way. You've also got a um a te teams like Burnley coming up who want to go and play football, which actually can be a bit of a problem going to the Prem. And then you've got a team like Sheffield United who kind of got screwed over by the they lost their striker in the summer, didn't they? And then just don't haven't got the finances for it really, I suppose. Is it worth not adding the gap thingy on your YouTube video per club? Is it worth not adding the gap thingy on your YouTube video per club? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, which FM movie was more fun to make, Potter or Malia? Uh, maybe Malia. Just because of like, it was the first one. And also a big, um, a big, like the reception to it was really good. But both really fun. Kind of the same. Oh, chapters. Yeah, probably. They're just, if someone wants to add them, go for it. The timestamp divider. Yeah, yeah, possibly. For which one? Per club. You mean for which video are you talking about? For the, um, for the save recommendations. Yeah, probably. They just take ages. Uh, it means watching the video back and finding the timestamps and stuff and like, yeah. Luton a bit of team to bounce back from the championship. Yeah, when that's the reality, then that's, you're going to get not a very great season in the Prem, are you? The one Lee only just linked in Twitch. I didn't see which one she linked. I'll say recommendations, top five recommendations. Yeah, possibly. But also effort, innit? You're convinced you're down. You're convinced you're down every year, though, to be fair. Ivan Tony scored his first goal, everyone. He's a Newcastle goal scorer. Come on. Desarcy's playing right back, is he? Weird. Weird. Uh, Almiron gives it back to Barnes. Barnes plays it into Tony, who hits it first time. 4-2, 8-4 on aggregate. We're going to the final of the Carabao Cup, everyone. Uh, I No, I didn't expect it to explode the exact way it did, uh, TJ. I expected it to do well. I was hope really hopeful it would do well. Um, but no, I didn't expect it to go and get 500,000 views, which is madness. Oh, Trey's missed that. How have you missed that? Ipswich are going to win the Prem with Kieran McKenna next season. He's the best man manager I've ever seen. We're saying some outrageous things here. <laughs> He's doing great, by the way. Doing really well. When you consider he was at United and things. Yeah. He's doing brilliant. Right, five to play here. As Jolinton passes straight to them. What a, what a tie, by the way. 8-4. Could be 8-5 here. Good save, big mama. Justin and James on the bench. I guess they're not fit to start for some reason. I don't know what the plan is there. Weird one. Odd. Uh, Rumours are Iriola's gone. Iriola's... Iriola's gone if we lose today, especially with Bill Foley in town. Oh, is the, the chairman there? Or whoever Bill Foley is, I assume somebody important. They've got Arsenal though, right? It just seems weird to make that your your uh, owner. That it seems weird to make that your um ultimatum game. Oh, we have Burnley. Oh, fair enough then. Sorry. I thought you had Arsenal. I feel like we talked about it before. If it's Burnley, then fair enough. I thought it was Arsenal, and I was like, that's really harsh. <laughs> We've scored again, and Ivan Tony, I think, scored again. I didn't actually see it. Bournemouth deserve it for sacking their manager when he kept them up. Yeah, true. I think also, it's always the benefit of hindsight on those things. Sometimes, it's a great call, isn't it, to change your manager even after they've done well. Who was it who did that, and then it ended up being the exact right thing to do? I'm struggling to think of who that was, but... Uh, but yeah, when it doesn't go well, you look like an idiot, don't you? Trippier, Almiron, Andre, Joel Linton. It's it's six two. Ranieri at Leicester. That was an, that was true. Yeah, someone else did it recently, more recently, and everyone was like, "Why have they done that?" But it ended up being a really good call. I've genuinely enjoyed watching us play football at some points this season. This hasn't happened since how? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, again, it's like... 
Villa with Gerard. Is that who I'm thinking of? No, because Gerard was just crap anyway. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. Um, it's the same thing, Leonie, of like trying to play football in the Premier League. That you might be able to play well, but you're gonna you're not gonna win as many games. Yeah, but they were safe. Yeah, true. I don't know. It's all perspective. It is. I remember when Bournemouth did it with Iriola. Everyone was like, it's kind of what this team did, but I can't remember who that team was now. This Chelsea team looks so weak. It's a really bizarre team. Like They look good against Arsenal for a bit as well. And they've actually been on an okay run. Just such a strange setup. Such a strange situation at Chelsea, isn't it? It depends if you're happy to go down playing good football or not. Yeah, I don't think Bournemouth would be, though. It's kind of disastrous if Bournemouth go back down now because they've spent a lot. It was Palace with Vieira. I think it was Wandering, yeah. I think it might have been that who I was, think who I was thinking of. Palace, like, getting rid of Vieira and bringing Hodgson back in. Everyone was like, Vieira wasn't that bad. Is that the idea? I don't know if it was, but yeah, that's, that, that is a good example of it, yeah. Making the change, and it ended up being working, and you look good when it works, right? All right. Uh, deadline day. I don't want to go to the meeting. Gordon is developing, which is nice. Lovely stuff. We've got the deadline in one week. We're signing Coyote for the summer already. We spent our money and quite a lot of it, which is good. Is there... He didn't have the team for his style. Yeah, true. Is there anyone we need to sell before the end of this window? The Bravka we kind of need as a backup now. Longstaff's wanted. You're unhappy. I don't think so. We managed to get rid of most of the... I kind of want to offer out Joel Linton to see if United make the bid. What's he been promised? Reduce the number of unhappy players. There's only you and you're one of them. I want, don't want to go to the meeting. Me every week. Exactly. Right. Chat. Let's play. Let's play Charlton. And then I think that's probably the last one. Then I'm going to go watch the football, get this video uploaded for later on. I need to make a thumbnail. Cat will be home soon. Her aunt's staying. So yeah, I'm unhappy because I'm unhappy. Yeah, <laughs> great. You haven't reduced the number of unhappy players because I'm unhappy. We've got Spurs in the final. <clears throat> Carabao Cup final will be on the 25th of Feb, which will be, let's say next stream, if I can get us there. We'll play that next stream and then we'll be not far away from finishing our first season, which will be fun. Uh, okay. Whole starting 11 is pretty much injured. You'd think you'd have depth after spending, yes, that much money. Billions. <laughs> the weird, weird team. Weird side, Chelsea. Right. They signed him. They put him on 18K. I offered him 30K. That's so annoying. This is so annoying. So... The reasoning we got, why Redondo signed, Man chose Manchester United. Now, I don't mind him choosing Manchester United, but when you, when you give me this, with it being a very close call for him to make, he doesn't think he will get the playing time he is looking for at Newcastle when he has signed a contract where he's, where he's chosen to be a fringe player at Manchester United on less money per week, don't tell me this. Because that's just not true, is it? Whereas I made him a squad player with all of the progressions to go and be a starter as well, which is what he asked for. It's just a lie. <laughs> a straight up lie. If it said he believes Manchester United's, uh, he rates Manchester United's reputation higher than yours, fair enough. Unless they've offered important player next season. I think I did though. I in fact offered him exactly what he asked for. So if he wanted more, he should have asked for more. He's had you there. He's lied. And that's why I didn't want him anyway. Can't wait for you to absolutely rot at Manchester United. Should we loan him? <laughs> he went back to United, it says. Uh, yeah, he went back to them to ask for more money as well or more something. But he didn't, they obviously didn't give it him because he's got 18k in fringe player. And he's already loan listed. So, it's just a bit of a lie. Oh, well. 
It's deadline day and I've just sold your left back. Someone recommended me a replacement. You got 80 mil. Yeah, Bakaya Saka. Brilliant left back. Great left back. Get Saka. He's a great left back for me. We played him left back in the in the in the World Cup in the Graham Potter video. Oh, I don't want to miss him either. That's actually too much money though. Atalanta signing him is quite a fun signing. Like quite a fun move. We'll let that happen. Uh we've got that hasn't gone through yet. I think we're probably done with signings, aren't we? Yeah, it's a realistic one, yeah. Which is why I think that's why I like it, Foxy. It kind of makes sense to me. Uh, Barnes, well done. If that's Trippier, it isn't. Miura, you've been training rubbish. Get out of here. I'm starting to dislike this King Kazoo. Moaning all the time. Too many injuries in this game? There is a lot. But we've just had a conversation about how Chelsea have got like most of their starting 11 out injured. So is it unrealistic? Possibly, possibly not. Is it too many? Possibly, possibly not. Because it is still a game, isn't it? And it is a bit annoying. But there is a lot, yeah. Uh, Feyenoord trying to sign... Oh, look, they've decided to stall it. Wig it. I don't know what that means. They'll go down on full release. Yeah, we talked about it before happens every year the cycle is loads of injuries in the in the beta because either they they think it's realistic but then everyone moans about it and then they reserve and then they um and then they like, tone it down a little bit for full release always every year every year all right fa cup game so we can do a little bit of rotating if we want to Marco, are you back no you're still up International duty. Uh, Diamande is back, everyone. They must be out. They must have gone out of the Ivory Coast, went out of the um, African Nations early. So he plays. I'm going to play our new guys together. Our sporting boys together. Uh, Barco is, yeah, doing Olympic qualifying, I assume. Oh, he's actually back. No, he's back. He's come back early as well. He just needs a rest. He's just a bit knackered then. Okay, that's good. Get Anderson in after his last after his hat trick. Good idea. Let's play Elliot Anderson on the right hand side. And Avi Bands on the left. Um Andre. And Joey Dubs. Miura can go on the bench. And uh, Gordon on the bench. They should have a green link, I think. They actually should. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? If you sign two players from an old team together, they should already have the relationship. That's fun. Yeah, should I put Lewis Miley on the bench too? He did well in the last game, didn't he? Just had Florentino declare his nationality as Angolan instead of Portuguese. That's fun, Holbrook. I think he's still Portuguese on ours. Yeah. No caps yet, though, so maybe he will. We'll see. He's actually developing nicely as well. That's good. Um, so, Anderson, let's play Ivan Tony. Yeah, keep getting... We need to get this sharpness up, so let's keep playing him. I don't know if I want to play you left back. Yeah, we'll give him a go. A six foot seven left wing back bombing up and down the left-hand side. Why not? They may have hated each other. I think if you sign friends, it should be green or lakes. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um... Yeah, that's the team. Tony and Tonali both play. We have fun with the tactics names. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Charlton Athletic. All the best out there. Have fun. And they did not react in any way to that. Good stuff. Ivan Tony Masterclass. Here it comes. Uh, JWP is now a mate of Messi's in my save. I love FM. That's great. How good does Miley look? Yeah, he looks good. He's actually, he scored in the last game as well. Header. And what, he's 16, 17? He's really good. I think he's got pretty high um, potential as well. Sam Burn, Ivan Tony heads over. Good on Betty. Betty? Better. I read Messi at the same time. Messi was class in my save. I, um, yeah, I wonder if we signed Messi. Could be fun, couldn't it? 
does kind of go against the dossier a little bit, but still. What's happened to the pitch markings here? I know they've updated it, but what happened? Someone driven a tractor across there. Because what? Why is there marks there? Also, we scored, but I was distracted. <laughs> Who scored the goal? Because I didn't see it. Because I was looking at this tractor mark here. Harvey Barnes, was it? Lovely goal. Oh, it's Harvey Barnes. Is it just the shadow? Of what? Like the stadium? Doesn't look like a shadow, does it? But maybe. We're a long way away from the ball here. I'm getting vertigo. It's the stadium shadow. Yeah, it could be, I suppose. Also, I prefer to think that someone's driven a tractor. I might sign a 34-year-old Lingard just to make Rashford happy. Go for it. Tenali. Don't give him that much space. Don't give him that much space. He wants £700 per week. That's quite cheap. Considering he wanted too much money for um, Aletifak, that's quite cheap. When it comes to signing players, do you sign them for player search or scouting players or is it gut instinct? All of the above. Mainly asking on Twitter. Above everything else. Tony! 3-0! 2 and 3 for Tony, I think. It's going to be a long, long time. He really, really bet on himself. He did. Anyone see Chelsea's pen shot from earlier? A bit soft for me. I didn't see it, no. Attribute search is powerful, yeah. In this save, we're kind of going with like, players that are highly rated in real life and just make, making a short list from there. Tonali, Anderson, Livramento. Wow. Good save. They're not. No. I still think they've got decent money, though. Tonali, headed away. We are destroying Charlton Athletic here. Could be any score by the end. Oh, no. <clears throat> uh, any tips to stop so many goals against me coming from corners? Change your corner tactics. You're welcome. Next. Seen a few videos on Mikey Moore from Spurs. Looks a real star. Have you? I've not seen that. Uh, can we sign Lucas Pacata and Fag Fagioli so we have all the betters at some point, Cheesy? Yes. How is the game playable? Says it's coming on the 6th of November. This is early access, uh, Fenviz. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, it says this is a beta version. If you order the game now, you can play the game in what is previously known as the beta period of the game, which is the... They put the game out early so that people can report any bugs and things before their full official release. It's basically the full game, just you get to play it early. As Joey Dub scores a lovely goal. If you buy it now, you will be able to play it now. And there is a link to buy it in the chat. Go for it. You can't play the beta on Xbox or console. You can't play the beta through Game Pass. Uh, you can't play the beta via mobile. Only on PC is what I could have said. Tony again. It's 5-0 first half. Like it. I know it's early access, but is it beta for the rest of us? Yeah. I mean, as long as it says this is a beta version... I'm, I think we're fair to call it the beta. It doesn't say this is an early access version. So, that's what I'm saying, all right? Now, I get why. He, he wants to change the narrative around it to, like, early access sounds way more positive than, like, here's an unfinished game and go and play it. Like, people think if they... People are more likely to buy it now if they think they're getting early access. It's all about marketing and branding around it, isn't it? I get it. But also... FM fans are, are stuck in their ways. They're not going to just stop calling it the beta, are they? It's a typo, yeah. Yeah, a lot of games now come out in early access. It's also the trend in the, in the market as well, isn't it? Definitely. My two subs for uh, King Kazoo goal still stands. All right, let's get him on. Tony on a hat trick, though. I kind of don't want to take him off. Let's go two strikers. Let's do... Oh, I've got gambling still loaded in from the video. Uh, Let's do... No... <laughs> We could just use gambling's tactic. Uh, oh, that doesn't really help either. Let's do this, but with two strikers. Tony and Miura. <clears throat> He's on. Uh, Harvey Barnes for Gordon. Give him a rest. Lewis Miley. Get him on. Uh, you do have FM23 tags, do I? How do I change those? 
I can change them here. What should we do as a as a tag? I think I think you can add anything as a tag. What what what? The one show. Add tag. I'm I'm changing our tags. I'm just gonna have one tag, and it's gonna be the one show. That's probably not the best for um for marketing, but that's literally it. That's what I'm. <laughs> Probably FM24. Probably a good idea, actually, isn't it? Add tag. Right, I've updated them. Right, King Kazoo. Get us. Oh, they scored, did they? They've had a shot and scored a goal. That's annoying. Vibes. <laughs> one shot, one goal. Charlton efficiency. Yeah. Right, King Kazoo's in there. Lewis Miley. Andre. Don't shoot. Don't be so greedy. He did. Okay, fair enough. Good goal. No SEO, just vibes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, 6-1. It's a lovely finish. His first goal for the club for Andre. Well done. I don't know how much tags make a difference on, um, on Twitch anyway. Because if you're searching, we're searching for like, we're playing in the category of Football Manager 2024. So... Like, I don't think that needs to be a tag. I don't know how many people are searching for the one show, though. I don't know how many people find it from searching. Surely you just click on the category rather than anything else, no? I don't know. Discoverability on Twitch is not really a thing anyway. Is that Lewis Miley, by the way, who just scored? I think it might have been. He's a good player. Good youngster. Bounces back to him. It is. He's drilled it home for 7-1. Any plans for your birthday? Uh, yeah. Quite soon, actually, isn't it? The next week. Is it my birthday next week? A week now. It's the Monday after. So it's a week and two days. That's fun. Probably just go for a meal with Kat, to be honest. Maybe go for a nice roast. Tony Hattrick! 8-1! Get in! Someone found me with the tag beards and the tag cats. Really? Okay. Fair enough. I have one example was looking through Diablo streams and separated them by the ones with English tags. Yeah, that's the, the English one, I guess, is makes sense. UK English should probably be on there. Uh, see, if I write English, that means that Stephen won't watch. <laughs> Never used it again. Fair. Anthony Gold has made it 9 1. We're 9 1 up here. Time them out. Fair enough. They demanded to see your cat and you, you timed them out. Fair enough. 9-1. Uh, Who got this assist? Anthony Gordon from... Oh, Dan Byrne got the assist. Big dog. There might be another one. We want 10! I've used tags to see what teams people are playing as. What? They've actually updated them. We've got 10. He's off. Please be on. I want 10 goals. Because there's no way people have updated what team they're playing as. We got 10! Yes! We've scored 10! How annoying that we conceded a goal to them. Diamande's got his first goal. 10-1. 10 of the best. We've made them pay. Mura still didn't score. Annoying is what that is. Still didn't score. About as comprehensive as you can get. I think I, think I agree with you. <laughs> we conceded to them. That's poor. Right, it's Arsenal away next. I think though, chat, we're just about at the three hour mark. It's... Gone past 1 p.m., but we did start a little bit late because Kat was still here with her aunt. Um, Tony gets a hat trick. Peaked at 22. I think he did. I think we're going to leave it there for today, everybody. Another incredible stream. The vibes were immaculate. Immaculate is the word. Now, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a really, really fun one. Uh, you didn't have 10 different goal scorers. No, we didn't. Thank you so much for hanging out. I don't need to actually drop a save. Let's um, let's tee up a little raid. And when we go there, what are we going to say when we raid to somebody? We came, we saw, we vibed. You did indeed. Good stuff from you guys. Good shit. Sorry for swearing. I will um, be back next week sometimes. I kind of want to do a midweek stream next week. Should we do one? Sorry for swearing. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was a steady stream, wasn't it? Should we do a midweek stream? No promises. But 
I can't stream tomorrow. I'm in Liverpool again. So should we do a little midweek one before next weekend? I think we should. Can it be Wednesday? Uh, yeah, probably, possibly. Is there Champions League football? I don't know. We'll have a think about it, but keep an eye out. There's definitely going to be videos, though, for sure. I, a tentative penciled in, yes. Uh, can we do Wednesday? I'm off work. Wednesday day. We can't do Wednesday day because I'm at work. There's no Champions League. Pencil in Wednesday evening. Why not, right? Thank you so much for hanging out, though. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your Saturday, a lovely rest of your weekend. I hope your team wins. I hope you're all very happy and enjoy yourselves because you're a lovely lot, and I love you to bits. All right? See you soon. Get on YouTube. Go and subscribe. We've nearly hit 60,000 subscribers. There you go. Uh, join the raid. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The music's getting louder. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.